end zone. Fires it three pass near Good sideline. Choice. Caught by Sampson. Sampson to the pylon. In. Touchdown, Tennessee. Williams back. He's going to run this one. Makes the catch to the 18 to the 20. 25, 30 to the 40. Makes a break. Gets the midfield. Williams to the 40-yard line. Austin P. The Austin Peepees. More like the Austin Poo Poos. <laughs> well, Tennessee, this Saturday, tomorrow, 5 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Not sure, not really sure why we're playing at such a ridiculous time. It's on the uh, SEC Network Plus. Might as well be on ESPN 8 The Ocho while we're at it. But Tennessee and Austin P. are playing. And of course, as always, I have to come on here and lay into Austin P. Oh, uh, Austin P's an FCS team, Squid Tar. Why would you lay into them? They ain't no good. Well, that may be true. <laughs> you know who else ain't no good? Missouri, South Carolina. Well, uh, does South Carolina beat you last year, Squid Tar? They still ain't no good. We saw what happened last week. Kentucky ain't no good. But I lay into all those teams just like I'm going to lay into Austin P. I don't care if we're playing Popeye's East. I don't care who it is. We're playing against this team, so I'm going to lay into them. That's just the reality of the situation. But you know the process here, Austin P. You, you know what this is. It, this is a simple process, really. All you got to do is roll on your way on a Neyland Stadium, take your whooping, leave, and then take your million dollars with you because you already know Tennessee is giving Austin P a million dollars to come uh, take their whoop and then leave. That's just the way it is. So, you know, it's an, it's a simple process. And I've taken the time out of my day to go on to Twitter or wherever I can find these Austin P fans to see if there is somebody out there who genuinely believes that they can beat Tennessee. Of course, that, that person doesn't exist. But there are Austin P fans out there who have the nerve to trash talk Tennessee. Now, I want you to picture in your mind what an Austin P fan would say in regards to Tennessee being no good. Really, really. I, I want you to picture that in your mind. What do you think they would say? Taking the time? All right, well, what do you think they actually said? I'll tell you. Here's the worst thing an Austin P said, fan has said about Tennessee. Josh Eiple's fat. Oh! Oh my goodness! Oh! Oh, bear the hatches! The sky is falling! The sky is falling! Oh my goodness! Our head coach just call, got called fat by an Austin P fan! Oh! Did y'all know something, by the way? Um, Tennessee right now, in 2023, is undefeated. Has not taken an L. Austin P, on the other hand, winless has not received a W all throughout 2023. Uh, funny news there, one of their last losses, actually their last loss of the 2022 season, just so happened to be a 34-0 loss against Alabama. Alabama got beat by Alabama. You know who didn't get beat by Alabama? Hmm. There, there, there's somebody that comes to mind. Uh, these guys, these guys, those guys, those guys. The orange lights say it all. Tennessee ain't lose to Alabama. They, they ain't lose to Alabama. The best thing you can hope for, Austin P, right, is that this right, is a simple, all right, all clean... Right. Da, 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 da. That's enough of that. <clears throat> Ceiling fan? Hey, get out of here. All right. Yeah. Oi, fellow comrades. Um, it's Squid Tar here, and, uh, well, we were going to react to the Austin P Tennessee game at 5 o'clock, but guess what? It's already, uh, the news has come in. There's already been some thunder outside. Shocking news, the Tennessee game's been delayed at least till 5.30. So, we're on a bit of a weather delay. Uh, everybody on the freaking uh, East Coast has, uh, been delayed. Man, it's been a hectic week of, yep, there's see more thunder. I had to put on my hat. What's going on, fellas? 
Uh, so weather delay until 5.30 for the Tennessee-Austin P game. But that's all right. It's been a great week of college football so far. Great week. Uh, let's see. So I'm going to look through here, see. Because uh, I've got to update my pick uh, Let's see. Yeah, Kansas won. Good on them for doing that. Hey, Vandy lost. <laughs> Uh, so much, so much for Vandy being six and one heading into the Georgia game, huh? Friggin' six and one, get that out of here. Friggin' six and one, unreal. Thank you guys for uh, jumping on here. I already see uh, Lucas Sharp and EUF are in the uh, the chat right now. Uh, much appreciated. Thank you for joining. Well, for those of you who are in here, um, and the announcement has not been um, made yet. Well, I just saw the notification on Twitter. Um, Tennessee versus Austin P has been delayed until probably 5.30 because whenever there's lightning in place, that means they delay uh, for at least 30 minutes. So, um, <sighs> I want to know what, um, I want to know what smooth brain thought it was a great idea to schedule a game for friggin', uh, 5 o'clock PM Eastern Standard Time. What kind of an idiot would do that? All right, well, let's talk about some of the games that have uh, already happened. So I mentioned Vanderbilt, Wake Forest. What was the final score of that game? Um, something. Yeah. I think Vanderbilt scored like one last touchdown to make it a little less embarrassing for him. Yeah, 36 to 20 was the final score of Wake Forest Vandy. So little brother goes down. They've been harping on us all week because they're undefeated sitting at 2-0. and Got them their two Mickey Mouse victories now. Not now, not so much. So, R.I.P. Vandy's undefeated season. Uh, of course, uh, somebody's gonna come in here and be like, "Well, they could still go six and one heading into the Georgia game." Well, uh, good luck with that. Honestly, though, I will say it, it may not be as I guess crazy of a thought um, because, well, their next game I think is UNLV. I'd imagine that they win that one, so they'll be sitting there at three and one. And then I think their next like three games, they gotta win all three now in order to be six and one. Kentucky, I picked Vandy to beat Kentucky in the offseason, and I stand by that more than any pick I've had. I, I do not think Vanderbilt goes winless uh, in SEC play. Kentucky looks submissive as all can be. Um, they look terrible. They're they're losing to East Kentucky right now, ten to seven. Devin Leary looks completely lost. He's already got two picks and only one touchdown. He just he's completely off his game. They have Kentucky has literally no passing game. Tennessee's going to just completely run over Kentucky when it comes to passing the ball. I'm so looking forward to uh, that game in Lexington. But yeah, as it as it stands to Vandy and Kentucky, I think Vandy gets him again. They look awful. They look horrendous. Uh, some other teams I talked about, um, uh, Utah, uh, that last drive against Baylor was pretty neat. Uh, now, of course, a lot of people are like, oh my gosh, that, that should have been targeting. Do, 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 do. Well, I, well, I do think, uh, that's possible. I, I, uh, I'm not leaning towards that. What's up, Ian the Hyper? Um, let's see. What other games were there? Of course, a lot of the teams, the big name teams started off sluggish, but Georgia won 45-3. Ohio State won 35-7, and then Penn State uh, 63-7. They were one of the only teams that really never started off sluggish. Even Colorado, uh, Colorado, Nebraska, um, is Colorado the real deal? I think they are, but I also think that Nebraska is just, <laughs> they are in an endless loop of pain. You look at what Nebraska's got going on for them, they're just, it's just continuous pain for Nebraska. I feel so bad for them, you know. I, I I legitimately feel so bad for Nebraska fans. Every single week they're let down. They bring in a new coach, Matt Rule. They lay an egg against Minnesota last week, and now they come out against Colorado, pretty much do the same thing. Let Shador Sanders pretty much run all over them. Um, yeah, it was just awful, awful. I could not imagine being a Nebraska fan. What else? Well, <laughs> oh. How about Clemson? Friggin' uh, well, 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 at one point, yeah, I think it was uh, twenty-one to seven at one point, but now Clemson has run away with it. 
I expect I nobody actually expected Clemson to lose this game. Uh, of course, so that's exactly what uh, happened. Clemson up 52-17 right now over Charleston Southern. Cade Klubnick threw that pick six, and people thought that he was terrible at, at, by that point onward. But now he's uh, got four touchdowns. So it seems Clemson's cleaned up their act a bit. For for, for some time being, I, I feel like uh, Clemson fans are sitting there thinking that the sky is falling, which really, really wasn't didn't look that far off. Um, so we got some ga- good games going on right now. Tulane up 17-10 over Ole Miss, and I picked Tulane. I actually picked Tulane to win this game, and right now they're winning at halftime. So if they end up winning this game, I'm going to need all these people to apologize to me because Ole Miss fans are like, it's impossible for us to lose to a group of five team, no matter how good the group of five team turns out to be. So that would be a huge win for uh, Tulane. Texas A&M Miami also looks really good. Miami just put up a touchdown. They're only down by three now. It's 17-14. Uh, so that's that's really interesting. I the Cy Hot game is going as expected right now. Iowa <clears throat> does not look too good on offense, but they are up 17 to zero. Uh, Iowa State's offense is just practically non-existent. Um, we, we kind of all expected that to be the case. How about this? UTEP and Northwestern tied up at halftime. Let's go UTEP. They're a playoff team. I'm telling you. Uh, what else? UTSA and Texas State, 10 to 7. Yeah, the rest of these games are just scrimmage opponents. So, let's see. I've got three different screens right here. YouTube TV, uh, at least on um, computer, doesn't allow you to have multi screen like they do on TV. So, I just kind of have to have three different screens. I've got my main monitor, got my other monitor, and then I've got my laptop, which right now, that one's playing the Sci Hawk game. So, let's see. Um, this one's playing UTEP Northwestern, but they're at half now, so I think I'm going to switch it back to another game. There really is not a lot on, though, now. Notre Dame and NC State is uh, one of those, and right now, I mean, that's that's kind of a blowout, though. Notre Dame manhandling NC State like I expected them to. So let's see. Let, let me turn on, uh, where's Miami, Texas A&M at? That's what I need to figure out. Kentucky, Eastern Kentucky is also pretty interesting. All right. It's on the ESPN N. So there's two N's. Is Purdue, Virginia Tech still on a weather delay? Yes, it is. Wow. It's been on a weather delay for like three hours now. They cannot catch a break. Yeah, this game's on ESPN News. (laughs) <laughs> well, it's third and eight now for Texas A&M, up by three, 10-27 to go. I wonder what, they'll got, wonder what they got planned here. Step back in the pocket. They're bringing the pressure. He manages to throw the ball. It's a little chip pass. Big run. Will he make it to the marker? Not quite. I think it's going to be fourth and short. Yeah, I thought so. Miami defense looking pretty good. They, they got on him quick. Uh, Rick, what's up, buddy? Hey, Squid, I'm, I wonder how Quinn Ewers is going to handle the Alabama crowds. I think he'll handle them pretty well. Uh, I don't really expect any, too many issues uh, with that team. Wow, holy crap, we got 28 people in here. Thank you all so much for jumping on into the stream. If you haven't already, make sure to give this a like and uh, sub up to Squid Tart if you have not already. That would be greatly appreciated. All right, so I need to... How do I get to ESPN Plus? Because I need to turn that... I, I I feel like I need to turn that on and watch Kentucky. Uh, because right now, they're, they're, they're still... Oh, never mind. They scored. So they're up 13-10 now. It looks like they had a penalty, a personal foul on the extra point. So that one may be... Who, who knows? Maybe they won't get the extra point. Yeah, Cyhawk game about to go to overtime. So I feel like it's about time to turn that one off for now. Man, that's embarrassing. Imagine being Kentucky. Ugh, man. Mr. Music Man, bro, what channel is the game on? Uh, it should be ESPN Plus or SEC Network Plus. But right now, um, Tennessee uh, versus Austin P is on a weather delay, so we won't we, we won't really even be able to see that until uh, 
I forget. 5.30. 5.30 at the late... 5.30 5 at the friggin' earliest. Jeez, I cannot spell and I cannot speak. Whew. I just gotta figure out how to get there. I think for YouTube TV, it, it doesn't show up until there's an actual game going on, so I actually... I won't be able to see it until the actual game kicks off. Speaking of which, all right, I'm gonna... So, Ole Miss Tulane's still going on. And that's, of course, looking like a really good game. Hmm. All right. Well, Iowa... Sci-Hot game here on the laptop. It's getting ready to head to uh, halftime. So, let me go ahead and roll out the... Uh, the Kentucky versus Eastern Kentucky game. Yeah, no. Everybody on the East Coast is going through at least some sort of weather delay. Vanderbilt, um... I mean, the Vandy game just ended, and they kicked off at, like, what, uh, 11 o'clock? Uh, I mean, <laughs> Vandy fans would rather prefer it be uh, on just a exponentially, I guess, permanent weather delay. So that way, they, that way they could claim that they were undefeated for the longest time. Unfortunate. There are certain fan bases here which just wish that they were on just a continuous weather delay, but it seems... Uh, they aren't so lucky. All right, let's see here. So, most of these games are at halftime. North Carolina, uh, Appalachian State might be kicking off pretty soon, though. There's another bolt of lightning. I live pretty close. I mean, I live only 30 minutes away from uh, Neyland Stadium, so if there's lightning and thunder going on here, chances are, whatever that may be, it's heading straight to uh, Neyland Stadium. Uh, <clears throat> Horse Girl for Life. I have a question. What time does the Austin P and Tennessee game go? Um, it should kick off around 5.30 if there isn't another lightning delay. So the original kickoff time was 5 o'clock. Doesn't seem like that's going to happen. So, right now, it stands at uh, 5.30. Man. All right, so Iowa, Iowa State's now at halftime. I need to go ahead and roll out another game here. Miami's back on offense. Down, uh, It's 9-10 right now. That's uh, how much time is left in the second quarter. I see uh, ESPN2, but it doesn't look like that's, you know, doing anything because that's where Purdue and Virginia Tech are supposed to be playing. These weather delays have thrown everything off in terms of timing. Oh, little dump-off pass right there by Miami. He's still going. Big run right there, or big pass play, I guess. So Miami's in pretty good field position. They can probably score here and then, uh, you know, go up. Man, where did all these people come from? I need to do these streams more often. 39 people uh, currently watching right now. That's crazy. All right, so first and 10 for Miami. They are at the 50-some... Yeah, they're at the 49-yard line. Oh, through that pass into double coverage, but there is a flag on the play. I think I'm gonna have a uh, no UTEP Northwestern. They're they're at half, so that one, no sense in playing that one. Um, I just really want to see what's going on with this Eastern Kentucky and Kentucky matchup. Okay, yeah, so when I pull this up on the ESPN app, it actually does show the games. Uh, let me see if they show the Kentucky game, though, because that's what I'm trying to watch.
There we go. Okay. Finally got the game to start playing. So, yeah, it's 14-10 Kentucky right now uh, in that matchup. Okay. Now that we've gotten that taken care of, let's go ahead and roll out some of these other games here. Uh, Notre Dame looked good to you, Squid. 45-7. to Yeah, Notre I've been saying it for a couple of weeks now. Notre Dame is really good. Like, Sam Hartman was exactly what they needed uh, when it came to being uh, really good. So I'm really, really glad I'm right about them. At this point in time, I, I picked Notre Dame in the offseason to beat Ohio State. And as the weeks progress, it makes me think more and more that it really is going to be the case that Notre Dame beats Ohio State. Look at how look at how both teams are playing right now. Notre Dame has got this thing worked out so well for them because I think they play Clemson too. And Notre Dame and Clemson and USC, those are the toughest opponents on their schedule. USC is still up in the air, but the way Ohio State and Clemson look right now, Notre Dame, I think, could very well run the table in those matchups. Uh, imagine that, Notre Dame. They're, they're going to be that team that makes the playoff. Uh, I, I think they're going to make the playoff choices very interesting if that plays out. All right. Well, now that I've got the Kentucky game running on this screen, uh, now I'm going to turn. I got to. Did uh, Tulane and Ole Miss have they started the second half yet? Yeah, no, I, I can't show the games, uh, Horse Girl. I can't. I can't show them. Otherwise, uh, YouTube will uh, send me the Shadow Realm. I can't afford that. <laughs> Third down and eleven. Tyler Van Dyke steps out of the pocket, takes a big shot, throws in a double coverage again. There's the flag. Okay, so, yep, yeah, that's going to be another pass interference penalty for A&M. Miami getting bailed out really, really hard by these PI penalties. Third and ten for Eastern Kentucky now. They're sitting there at Kentucky's 38-yard uh, line? Something like that. All right, let's see. Takes the snap, steps out of the pocket. Big pass play. Looking. He's pointing. Takes the shot and throws out of bounds. And uh, Not even a receiver in sight there. So they're going to give the ball back to Kentucky. Kind of expected that one. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I know Uncle Lou. I went to see him in Cherokee a couple of weeks ago. Forty-one friggin' people. That's insane. You guys are awesome. Thank you for thank you for uh, tuning in. Uh, for those of you who don't know yet, Tennessee versus Austin P is on a weather delay for the current time being. The good news is though, I don't really hear much uh, much out there anymore. I think the storm it's like scattered storms. So if there isn't anything, uh, if there isn't anything that we should be good to go at five thirty. Tyler Van Dyke running out of the pocket, and he's gonna get basically nothing there it's gonna be second down for miami all right what channel is the uh i gotta i gotta see what channel is the uh the tulane old miss game on espn the second okay i make jokes all the time about how some of these games should be played on espn the ocho the way the the way the weather delays are playing out, it very well may be that case. Everybody getting a weather delay. Jeez, man, come on! I'm just trying to play the game. There we go. Okay. Now we got that one going down. If Kentucky gets a touchdown here, I'm tuning it off, turning it off. Yeah, probably. All right. Well, let's see. So Miami's second and fourteen for them. I kind of missed a majority of this game because of all the delays and there's like a thousand different channels going on right now. So yeah, if Kentucky scores here and they're up by two scores, unless if they Eastern Kentucky makes it interesting. I'm going to tune it to another game because there's more interesting stuff going on, especially when Tennessee plays. I don't have the luxury here uh, to have the multi-screen like I w wish I did, so I won't be able to watch, you know, 17 games at once. Even watching three games uh, and having three different uh, screens is uh, a little crazy. 
Okay, so yeah, I turned out uh, the Ole Miss Tulane game on at the perfect time. They're kicking off again. All right, so second down and 14. And stepping out in the pocket, Tyler Van Dyke taking a shot. Got his man good for, I'd say, five something yards. So it's, or maybe seven. So it's going to be like third and seven, something like that. Miami's getting real conservative. They haven't really taken many deep shots. They're taking some shots over the middle, and the way the way Texas A and M is playing defensive coverage, I wouldn't be surprised. I wouldn't be the least bit shocked if they went right back to it because every time they do it, it's a pi call. All right, over to Tulane. Michael Pratt's not playing in this game, is he? Oof, big sack by Ole Miss. We'll say I expected a lot more points up on the board in that game, at least at halftime. All right, Tyler Van Dyke stepping out of the pocket again. They bring the pressure, and he goes down with the big old sack. Big old number five came up on him. He got absolutely destroyed. That Miami offensive line is doing uh, Tyler Van Dyke absolutely no favors. Any word on when the delay is up? 5.30 should be when... because. Whenever there's a weather delay, uh, it is usually a 30-minute de delay, and the original kickoff time was 5 o'clock, so uh, 5.30 should be the kickoff time unless uh, they announce another delay or they see more. Because the way they do it, this happened with the, uh, the Georgia Tech game. Uh, after the weather delay is up, they'll bring everybody back out on the field, but if they see more uh, lightning bolts, then they'll throw everybody right back on in and then that'll go, uh, you, you know, the, you know the rest. Anyway, Notre Dame uh, just sealed up their game against NC State. They handled, uh, they handled them pretty well. I think they won 45-24, so that is a 21-point win. And big run by Kentucky right here. Huge run. They finally bring them down past the 30-yard line. But there is a flag on the play. It came in late. It may be a late hit or something. I don't know. I, 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 actually, it may be on sports on light conduct. All right, well, uh, Tulane gets stopped on fourth. Or yeah, Tulane gets stopped on third down, so it's fourth and four. They're punting the ball, giving it right back to Ole Miss. They'll have the shot to tie this game early in the third. Yeah, Kentucky looks like they're about to score. Yeah, I thought so. Shoot, that was a big run. Robinson came down. He 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 tore apart some of these uh, defenders. Kentucky, I guess they look they look de they definitely look better with their run game than they do their passing game. I will say that. I'm just ready to see my boy Joe Milton throw for some big uh, pass plays. Get some touchdowns up on the board. Because that's what I, I want to see more throwing in this game. I want to see Tennessee throw the ball. Uh, I want to see them take advantage of their big passing game. I want, And I made the, um, it's not necessarily a bet, but somebody ran a poll saying, who do you think is going to be the first Tennessee player to score? And for uh, the person who gets it right, will, um, uh, I guess, I think he said like retweet all of the tweets. And I make some pretty interesting tweets. So, of course, I had to reply to that. Um I said Jacob Warren, our tight end, was going to be the first one. And whether or not that's a rushing touchdown, because Tennessee has a tendency to, you know, run with uh, players that aren't the running backs. But if they're going to get a rushing touchdown, I think it's going to be, uh, of course, Jalen Wright, Jabari Small, or Dylan Sampson. So it wouldn't surprise me if that were the case. But a, a shot from Milton to Jacob Warren, that would be huge. Dump off pass, wide open man in the end zone for Kentucky. Brown catches it, touchdown, Wildcats. They did it! You did it! Congratulations! You you are win! You are win! You beat, you managed to go up uh, what is now going to be 11 points on Eastern Kentucky. Woo! Congratulation. Congratulation. All right. Well, now that that game's over, uh, we can go ahead and turn that off. I'll just uh, 
I guess I'll leave this on for the time being until I see uh, the Tennessee Austin P game come on. I'm looking at updates to see if there's anything that comes up in terms of another delay, but I uh, I doubt that'll be the case. All right, yeah, so Tennessee's already back out on the field. It looks like they're going to kick off at 5.30. Okay, genuine thoughts. What is? What do y'all think of the uniforms? That's what I want to know. What do y'all think of those Tennessee uniforms? Because I, I don't know. What, what, what is the point of those uniforms? I got to go on a little bit of a rant about this. I like the idea of having vintage uniforms to wear for Kondra Challoway. Nothing's wrong with that. I think that's awesome. I love the idea of wearing, you know, throwback unis, and that's awesome. But what in the world are they coming out with? They come out and they got these orange shoulder pads. It looks like they just put like an orange box on top of the shoulder pads. It's the goofiest looking thing I've ever seen. Actually, no, I take that back. The the gator skin uniforms Florida wore, those are worse. But Tennessee's, uh, whatever those uniforms were, in, in my opinion... Those were probably the, I mean, th these are probably one of the worst uniforms I've seen us wear. So I need to know from you guys and your perspective uh, what in the world that's about. Because that looked, <laughs> in my opinion, that looked terrible. That looked absolutely horrendous. Lucas says, I like them. I, I guess. I, uh, no. I don't. I, I. I don't. I. I guess we're just gonna have to agree to disagree on this one, because I don't. They. They look terrible. They look horrendous. Does am I the only one that I can't be the only one from our fan base that thinks that, you know? I. I don't. It's okay to love the idea, but to hate the uniforms, because I don't like. Why? Why? Uh, hear more thunder rumbling. That's not good. Let me check the, uh, because I've got, uh, my weather app loaded up. Yeah, no, it's just basically a whole bunch of scattered storms. So whether or not that continues onward, we'll find out. I would hate to be sit. Imagine we're sitting here until like nine o'clock. Uh, just waiting for this game to kick off, and then I'm up till like 2 a.m. watching Tennessee play Austin P. I got lucky though. Imagine, imagine being the people that went to this game. That, that's the thing. If there's anybody that's currently at Neyland Stadium right now, because uh, big news for those of you who are attending Neyland Stadium, whether that's today or any of our games in the future, they finally dropped in some Wi-Fi. There's finally Wi-Fi that exists, so you know you won't go in and the service is something of a wet potato. It actually has decent service now, which is huge, absolutely huge. All right. Uh, oh, Appalachian State, North Carolina just kicked off, and get this: North Carolina gets stopped. Uh, at least no, they're gonna go for it. Never mind. It, they're on fourth down, so it's a fourth and one. They're at the twelve. North Carolina going for it right here. This is going to be a run with the quarterback. And no, not even close. He gets stuffed. And they turn the ball over on downs. They did the exact same thing LSU tried to do against Florida State, which is take the quarterback and try and run through the middle and just tank through a bunch of these blockers. And it worked about as well as you expected it to. Uh, meanwhile, Ole Miss gets stopped on third down. They tried to throw over the middle. It's incomplete. It's going to be fourth down over there. So... Whole lot of whole lot of stinky dookie when it comes to uh, offense today. Let me see. Let me turn on uh, Miami A and M again. We see what's going on over there. Do you like the NFL? Uh, I have no complaints with the NFL necessarily. I mean, I spent a lot of time watching the Chiefs and the Lions play. That was a pretty good game. And how about the Lions? Uh, that, that's been a program. Uh, that's been a franchise. That's been sitting in dookie stinky for the longest time, and now they finally got it together. So, all right. Well, according to Lucas, it's game day time, so it's it's time to time to turn this game on. See what's going on with Tennessee. Yeah, baby. All right. Well, 
Now that we've got kickoff, I'm going to go ahead and turn this thing on. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, hoping for a good game. I'm going to put these on so that I can hear the audio. All right, there he is, Joe Milton, 21 of 30, 201 yards, two touchdowns, and no interceptions in his career at Tennessee. Let that, let that one sink in. No turnovers uh, for Joe Milton. Well, I can't say no turnovers, but I can definitely say no interceptions. But yeah, um, like I said about the, uh, the Lions, it's good that they finally got it turned around. How about that? <laughs> they go into Arrowhead and drop the, uh, the defending Super Bowl champs to start out the season. That's how you know it's going to be a crazy, crazy uh, NFL season. Sending a snap to a buddy. The evil twin. I'm sure y'all some some of y'all know who that is. Alright, well it could be at any point now Tennessee's kicking off the ball. I'm hoping to because my final my I'll post my uh actually you guys go ahead and do it. I'm gonna start out with mine. Uh that is sixty two to six, I think was what I said. That is my score prediction for this game. I think we manhandle Austin, the Austin Peepees. So let's see if uh, we hold on to that. Man, listen to that crowd. We don't care if it's a scrimmage game. We come out and we show out. I was originally going to go to this game. But turns out trying to get a ticket as a student uh, at UT is a lot tougher than you think. So <laughs> it's a lottery system, basically. And with me, uh, who is on my f first something... No, I can't premiere the game, uh, Evans, because if I do that, YouTube will shut me down. So I'm not, I'm not showing the game, just so we're clear on that. I'm just going to react to it. This is a reaction watch party. YouTube will send me the Shadow Realm if I uh, if I uh, if I show the game. Ah, all right. Well, here we go. Tennessee getting ready to kick off here. They're going to give it to Austin P to start out the game. Get to see uh, if that Tennessee defense has got gotten stronger over the course of a week. So here we go. There's kickoff. Boom. This goes way out, and it'll be a touchback. Play. I was trying to make the quality a little better, but I guess I'll just have to live with it for now. 56 to 7, Lucas Sharp says. That's possible. Let's see what's going on with the other games. Miami uh, trying to get one last score on the board. 53 seconds left at the half in that one. All right, so here we go. First and 10. They're starting at the 25, of course, because it was a touchback. Quick pass play. Throws it. Open man, but not for much. It's going to be a loss of two. Yeah, big tackle right there. My boy Aaron Beasley came up with a huge hit on him. Y'all keep a lookout for Roman Harrison, uh, one of the defensive players, defensive lineman. He's in uh, my, uh, I think, <laughs> he's in my statistics class. All right, second down, throws way behind the line. It's a dump-off pass, taking a deep throw way over him, incomplete. But he did have our man beat. Oh, my gosh. That could have very well been a very, very bad thing for us if he had made that throw. They they took a page out of our playbook right there. Yeah, he had, he had our corners beat right there. All right, well, third and 11. Um... From the 24, a bunch of movement. Uh, you got five five people going to uh, all to the right side of the field. 
Quick screenplay. So that's a screen. They're setting up some play action. And he goes down. Not quite enough for the first down. So now it's going to be fourth down two, I'd say. They're madmen. They're going for it. So here we go. They're going for it on fourth down. It's crazy. They want they want it dare. They're gonna they're just they're just trying to make us jump off sides. They want to do that. I mean, this would be huge for us if they did, but uh we'll see. Alright, here we go. Fourth and two. Man in motion. Snap. It's going to be a handoff through the middle. No, it's going to be a quarterback keeper. He's off to the races. He goes, keeps going all the way down to the 21-yard line. Oh, my gosh. It's a read option play. He completely fooled the Tennessee defense on that one. Second and 10, another screen pass. And, oh, Kamal Haddon completely wraps him up. So he's going to get about a gain of, of three right there. It's going to be second and seven. Yeah, the way they just completely fold our defense right there, Rick, I'm I'm thinking that they're going to put up <laughs> 10 points on us at least. I'm, I'm just looking, I'm, I might be wrong about that. Eh, start a game heebie-jeebies. That's all it is. So it's second and four. They got men in motion again. They're all moving to the right side. I have no idea what they're getting ready to do here. They're, Tennessee's bringing the blitz. Boom. Oh, he dumps it off. Is it? Wow. Okay. That was a, uh, it was a toss play. It, it looks like they've got the triple option going, but there's a bunch of flags down. So I wonder what's going on here. Illegal blindside block on the offense. Oh, no. Yeah, no question about it. That's a penalty right there. So, oh, my gosh. Yeah, no question about it. He laid him out right there. Oh, another coach is mad. We tend to get a lot of coaches big mad on here, don't we? Well, that's going to that's gonna put him way back. No, never mind. They're reviewing it to see something. Oh, they're okay. So they're going to review this for targeting. So yeah, that's going to be huge if we get that, because we already got the blindside block penalty. If you throw that on top of it. I have no idea if that's more yards or if that's something else. Also, uh, yep, touchdown Canes. Miami puts up the score now. They're, they are uh, currently leading over Texas A&M. All right, let's see. Well, I don't, okay, I don't know if that's, because he, he doesn't lead with his helmet. Isn't that what the whole point of a targeting penalty is, is that you lead with your helmet? Uh, helmet to helmet contact, that's the point. Okay, targeting rule, dangerous hit involving launch, upward thrust, or severe strike. It was definitely a blindside block, That no question about it, but... Um, Unrelated, but I like Austin Peay's helmets. Do you guys see those too? They got the uh, they got the three stars. Reminds me of the Vol Star podcast. Speaking of which, 
Uh, for those of you Tennessee fans listening right now, every Sunday at 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time, me, Lucas Sharp, and what we now have as our third co-host, uh, will be going live tomorrow, 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time, talking about Tennessee football, giving our review on this game, and then talking about the Florida Gators game coming up right after that. So you absolutely make sure to go check that out tomorrow. The Great Walrus says, Go Big Orange! Cannot disagree with that one. He's got a, he's got a great point right there. All right, let's see what's going on in some of these other games. So Miami A&M just went to half. The Canes up 21-17 over Texas A&M. I think I picked A&M to win this game, so that would be huge for uh, Miami if they wound up winning that game. All right, here we go. Here's the call. Yeah, I thought so. So it's no targeting, but the blindside block still counts, so it's going to be third down. All right, let's see let's see what else is going on. Purdue and Virginia Tech still delayed. It's so far delayed now, they've got the game going on on ESPN the 3rd. So now it's not even ESPN 2 anymore. They got it on ESPN 3. Are they just going to keep going up? They're going to get they're going to have ESPN 5 later on. Holy Cross Boston College getting ready to finish up. Uh looks like Boston College has survived, and they're going to get the upset. All right, anyway, second and 19 for the Austin PPs. Quarterback stepping out to throw. It's another screen play, and nowhere to go on that one. Big wrap-up by Aaron Beasley. He gets his second big tackle of the day. So now it's going to be third and long for the Austin PPs. We'll get to really see uh, the, uh, if this uh, Tennessee defensive backfield is uh, better than they were last year. So here we go. Third and 15 for uh, Tennessee, or Austin P. excuse me. Ball on the 27-yard line. Receivers in motion. They're moving out all the way to the outside, to the sideline. All right, here we go. Snaps it. Pass play, looking for a man. Takes a shot downfield to the end zone. He caught it way out of bounds, so it's going to be fourth down. It's a decent... That was actually a really good catch. It's just a catch that's seven yards out of bounds. <laughs> so fourth down. Looks like Austin P is going to bring out their field goal team. See if they can try and get this uh, field goal. So, 45-yard field goal. Here comes Maddox Trujillo for the field goal. Uh, I think I said his longest was 55. This is a 45-yard attempt. Here we go. The snap, the hold, the kick is up. And it is, oh my gosh, drilled it. He could have made that from 80. So, Austin P. right now. Uh, moral victory for Austin P. They're up 3-0 on Tennessee right now. Um <laughs> Any anybody that's not any any of the Florida fans right now, they're they're hoping and praying that the game gets just on a permanent weather delay so that they can say Austin P beat Tennessee. Yeah, no problem. So I I feel bad for the people in here for not being able to watch the game. That blows. Uh, sorry about that, but I'll make sure to give you the best amount of coverage I can. Uh, meanwhile, Ole Miss just scored a touchdown. They're now up, or actually they're tied now. If they make the extra point, Quinshaw Judkins rushed into the end zone. So that one is looking really good. Let's see uh, what other games are going on. <laughs> Eastern Kentucky put up another touchdown on Kentucky. It's 21-17 right now. The Wildcats are in the lead. They're at the 32-yard line, though. I don't expect for uh, Kentucky to win this game or lose this game, but, you know, that's still pretty funny. Uh, what else? Michigan, uh, just like uh, every other big team, they're currently struggling pretty hard right now. Uh, but they, I mean, they're up 28-0. They started off uh, sluggish, but they are winning pretty handily. Uh, nobody expects them to lose. 
Uh, what else? Cy Hawk games going on right now. Iowa, 17-3 still, but they're driving down the field. Northwestern, how about them? They're beating UTEP right now, 21-7. to uh, Seems UTEP is not the playoff team like I thought they were. That's disappointing. Arkansas off to a really rough start, too. They're only up 14-6 to on Kent State. Uh, not a good look for them. All right, let's pull up... Uh, what should I watch? I guess Cyhawk game? Or uh, what about North Carolina? Because I could watch that game. Or is that one on a delay as well? Okay. Let me pull this one up. All right. Ole Miss scored a bunch last week. Yeah, no. I mean, Ole Miss, yeah, no. I, I expected that out of Ole Miss. Their offense is really good. I will say, though... I'm genuinely surprised by some of these games because I thought, North, especially North Carolina, Appalachian State, I thought that one was just going to be a mega shootout. And right now it's just, uh, it's still 0-0 zero, zero, uh, and the first quarter is about to come to a close. So maybe the offenses are just, are, uh, just getting warmed up, but still, that's pretty crazy. All right. Washington up 14-3 on Tulsa. Mm hmm. Yeah, not too much going on in terms of spectacularity, I guess, if that's a word. Cincinnati Pitt kicks off at 6.30. And then, of course, the uh, the primetime games, Bama, Texas, and Oregon, Texas Tech, those kick off at 7 o'clock. Some other ones down the line, Wisconsin and Washington State. Florida going to try and get the upset on McNeese tonight. That should be fun. All right, well, here we go. Uh... The Austin Poo-Poos are about to kick it off to Tennessee, so now we'll get to see the first taste of volunteer offense today. So I'll say this and I'll say this again. Uh, if Jacob Warren scores the first touchdown uh, in this game, some, one of these accounts on Twitter has to uh, retweet every single tweet that I post. So uh, let's go, Jacob Warren. <laughs> Joe Milton, 18 total touchdowns, zero interceptions. And I don't imagine that he'll throw one today. But then again, uh, friggin' Cade Klubnick put up a put up a big dookie to start out the half uh, in Tennessee or uh, Clemson and Charleston Southern. So who knows? So all right, Tennessee coming out here, first and ten. There's Jacob Warren in motion. This is going to be a pass play, play action over the middle. Wide open, man. It's dropped, though, by Brew McCoy. Oh, my goodness. How do you drop that? Ugh. Why can't our receivers suddenly catch the ball? That's the, that's the second big pass play that, he, that I've seen a Tennessee wide receiver drop. Well, this is going to be a handoff right here. Nice little run right there by Jalen Wright. Good for about six yards. It's going to be third and four. All right, so third and five, actually. They might be bringing the blitz package right there. They had a bunch of, they had a bunch of their players run up. Players in motion, switching up the plays. It's going to be a passing play. Milton looking for a man. Throw over the middle, over his head. Another dropped pass. That one meant for Squirrel White. Good Lord, man. Another drop pass. So it's going to be a three and out for Tennessee. I can't blame Squirrel for dropping that one. That was way over his head. He had to jump up to get it. Jeez, man. So it's going to be fourth and five. Tennessee is going to have to punt the ball to Austin P. That's, man, that's ridiculous, man. So there's the punt. Oh, my gosh, they almost blocked it. What's up with our punter? That was... Uh, I'm, 
I'm not supposed to get frustrated, but now I'm getting frustrated. Man, what are we doing? First offensive drive, we come out with the heebie-jeebies. Let Austin P put up three points on us. It's just not looking too good right now. I don't like it. But then again, everybody's starting off sluggish. So I'm, I'm just a, I guess it's only the thought process uh, to think that Tennessee is going to start off the same way. Tulane now on third down. They're tied up at 17. 450 left in the third quarter. This is going to be another passing play. Looking for a man. Got one. And it's going to be a first down and then some. How about that? I think that was the tight end that got that one. So first and 10 for Tulane. Now they're driving. Meanwhile, North Carolina, uh, Appalachian State has got the ball. It's second down for them. I have no idea where they are, though. Yeah, no, it's... We're not, that was stinky. Horrible, horrible drive, yeah. Well, the the problem is that our passing looks terrible. The run game, you can only go for so long with the run game. And, you know, that makes sense to kind of switch it up. They went for the play action, but man, Milton just... Joe Milton does not... He doesn't look like he's in it. Throw You throw over a receiver's head. Uh, Brew McCoy's dropping balls. It's just... We got to get it together, man. We look entirely one dimensional on offense. Yeah, Clemson started off really sluggish, threw a pick six to Charleston Southern. If we throw a pick six to Austin P, I uh I'm 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 going to be big mad. Lucas, the problem with that is uh Nico's questionable. He he's got um yeah, he's questionable in terms of playing today because uh, I think his shoulder was uh, hurting. So if he doesn't play, then they'll have to bring in Gaston Moore, the third-string quarterback. I just wish our offense could get it together, man. All right, well, it looks like we're about to see another Austin P drive. There's old Condridge Holloway. Hopefully the Texas-Bama game is good, and when I say good, I mean Bama loses. That would be pretty good. I, that would be some prime entertainment. Nothing makes entertainment like watching Bama fans melt down on uh, social media because they lose a game. They, they definitely cannot handle it. It's always another excuse whenever they lose. Well, here we go. First and 10. Austin P. starting from the 40. Their 40. Going to be a quick passing play. Got it to a man. And it's good for a couple of yards. I think for about 10. It's going to be second and short for Austin P. All right, second down, so it's going to be second and one. Looks like I'm, I'm expecting a short run right here just so that they can get the first down. Man in motion. There's the handoff. No, it's going to, the quarterback's going to run with it. He has nowhere to go, and he is taken back. He's going to lose about five yards on the play. Uh, he tried to run with it, and Tennessee just completely surrounded him instantly. About number 90 right there. Came on him real quick. All right, third and seven. Tennessee can get it. Tennessee really could use a three and out right here. All right, here we go. Austin P. 0 for 2 on third downs. This isn't going to look good for him if they can't get this. Got a man in motion moving over to the other side. Passing play. Goes for the screen. Boom! Not even close. Instantly shut down. And Tennessee will get the ball back. Uh, fourth down for the Austin PPs. Beautiful. 
Aaron Beasley is a beast, bro. That's the sec that's the third time he's made a clutch tackle in this game. That's what I noticed too. I'm like I love how our defense is able to tackle people now. We're actually able to wrap up teams because that's what you have to do on defense, of course. It's it's important to actually be able to wrap up teams uh, and wrap up players when you're going for a tackle. D. Williams taking this out from the 20, and he'll get only about five yards on that run. So it's going to be first and 10 from about the 25-yard line. The Great Walrus, yeah. When you go from dominating everyone for a couple of decades to losing a few games, yeah. Well, it's it's heartbreaking, yeah, sure. Uh, but I, what, what Alabama fans do is they make up an excuse every time that they lose. It's the ref's fault. If if, if this pass interference play wasn't called, then Alabama would have won the game. You don't know that. Quit saying you know it, because you don't. They're still going on about how we beat them last year. This should have been pass interference at the end of the game. Well, wah, wah, freaking wah. All right, well, anyway... um. <laughs> Tennessee at starting at the 24-yard line. Screen play. Nice little pass play. It's going to go for about 10 yards. Yeah, screen play to Jalen Wright. Good for about 11 yards. It's going to be a first down for Tennessee. All right, from the 30, this is going to be a handoff. Jalen Wright completely shut down. Still going... You're trying to go through uh, these Austin P blockers. He'll get about a yard, if anything, there. Be second and eight. So here we go. This is going to be a play action pass. Milton looking down the field. Takes a shot over the middle. God, what are you doing? <sighs> McCallan Castles drops the ball. Uh, he was wide open. Milton threw to him. Um, and he got, falls right out of his hands. I'm starting to get really, really angry about this. That's a, another freaking time that that's happened. All right, um, Milton on third down, stepping out of the pocket. They're bringing the pressure, gets the throw off, complete. No, incomplete. S threw to Squirrel White. Coverage was there. And uh, Doss, number one on Austin P, takes him down, and it'll be fourth down. Another, another offensive sluggish drive. Good lord, man. This is ridiculous. This is just terrible, man. We've got to get it together. Like, like, are you joking? All right. Well, here we go. This is gonna be a punt play. And there's the punt. Taking it from there. Oh, muffed it! Tennessee's got it! Thank you! Thank you! Thank you! Thank you! Thank you! Special teams mishap for Austin P. Muffs the punt. Tennessee will get the ball back at the Austin P. 20-yard line. Wow! We needed that. Good lord. And number four was ready for it, man. He 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 stared him, and I think he intimidated that guy. He was not ready for that. Look at that. Number four was right on him. It's almost like he was expecting that to happen. All right, well, Tennessee will get another crack on the offense. And now that we've got some really, really good offensive uh, positioning, we need to score here. So Austin P is going to take a timeout. So Tennessee is going to start this drive, this next drive from uh, Austin P 13. Meanwhile, big run for Ole Miss. Uh, I think Judkins is going to get a huge run. Or no, that's Prince. Never mind. Uh, so huge run by Ole Miss. They're going to get inside the Tulane uh, 20 something yard line. Looks like they got an interception. Let's see, so stepping out of the pocket. Okay, yeah, no, he that was a complete misdirection on the uh the route for uh Tulane. And uh, Ole Miss is gonna get a huge turnover and they're gonna be in a prime position to take the lead on uh Tulane. 
Meanwhile, let's see what Tennessee does now at the 13-yard line. Absolutely no excuse not to put up some points here. So here we go, Joe Milton. Warren in motion. It's going to be a handoff. This is right. Trying to break some tackles. He's going to get about five yards there on the run. So here comes second down. The muff punt could be a fire, a spark to fire them up. Yeah, I hope so. So here we go. They're bringing the blitz, and wow, yeah, they got him instantly. Yeah, they that that play had no chance. Run through the middle, and uh, Austin P came in with the blitz and completely shut it down. So that's going to be a loss of about five on the play. All right, third and eight now for Tennessee. Milton stepping back out of the pocket, looking for a receiver. Plenty of time to throw. Uh, overthrown. Uh, Brew McCoy was open, and it's overthrown, man. New year. It's kind of cuckoo crazy. Uh, but good news, we're back now. So uh, let, me, let me make sure that we're good. Okay, yeah, we're good. Sorry about that, fellas. We should be good to go now, though. Oh, I hate this internet, man. I I hate this internet with a burning freaking passion, man. Every every dime, every time. <sighs> All right. Well, looks like Tennessee is going to get back on the offense, so or on the defense, excuse me. That uh the friggin' internet going out discombobulated me, but now it's 3-3. Three to three. Um, Tennessee really, really looking sluggish on offense. Uh, can't stop. Uh, I, I don't know what we're doing on offense. I really don't. We look potato, and I do not like it one bit. All right, so here we go. So Tennessee's going to kick off again, tied up at 3. They're going to give the ball back to Austin P. Maybe we can get a good defensive stop right here. It's not looking good, though. Austin P looks way more fired up than our sideline. So, taking a knee, and it'll be a touchback for Austin P. Ah, oh, jeez. Get it together, man. The defense is doing their job. I just need the offense to show up. All right, so with Austin P going out for another offensive drive, uh, we'll see how this goes. All right, so here we go. Three men in the backfield all up together. It's first and 10 for Austin P at the 25-yard line. It's going to be a handoff outside. No, it's going to be a quarterback run, and Tennessee shuts him down way behind the line. Uh, there are like three guys on him. It's my boy Amari Thomas with the big play. It's going to be second and 13 now. 5.30 left to go in the first quarter. Second and 13 rolling up for the Austin PPs. All right. Snaps the ball at some point in time. Got a lot of men in motion. Here we go. Now it's another motion play. Quick throw. Complete over the middle. And, oof, big tackle right there. So it's going to be about a six, seven-yard gain. And it'll be third down for the Austin PPs. Meanwhile, Ole Miss, uh, it's currently third and goal for them. So they're trying to get into the end zone. Uh, to go up because the game is still tied. All right, Tennessee, third and four. Come on. Got to shut him down here. Got to shut him down here. I'm tired of this, man. Y'all are concerning me. Get it together. So now they're in motion. Five receivers out. This is going to be a five wide. Expect for them to take the pass play exactly what they do. Quick dump off pass. Incomplete. Great pass coverage by our boy. Mm, nice play. 
Tamaria McDonald on the big play comes up with the big pass coverage. It was a quick dump off pass, and he came in with the big pass coverage. So it's another three and out for Austin P. Tennessee is going to get the ball right back on offense. As long as our special teams doesn't have any miscues. Knock on the wood. No, this is... Oh, wow, no. It was... What the heck was that? What? Huh? So they faked it on fourth down. It was a quick pass play is what they tried to do, but it was way overthrown. But there's a flag. It may be offside, so they may just be giving Austin P some more. Oh, man. I... He might have jumped off sides. Yep. Yep. I don't even. Yeah, Amar Amari Thomas was. He was over the line, so it's off sides. Austin P will get another set of set of downs. Good lord. Appalachian State seems to have finally put up some points. They're now up 3-0 over the Tar Heels. Northwestern's absolutely curb-stomping UTEP now. It's 28-7. So first and 10 for Austin P. They're currently lined up at the 36 now. Going to be a handoff. Nothing there. Whew. That's Tyler Barron, probably the big guy on defense. I'd say he's probably one of our best players on defense. Uh, gets the big tackle right there. So no gain. It's going to be second and ten. Let's see what else is going on. Purdue and Virginia Tech still on a weather delay. That is insane. Imagine being on a weather delay, sitting there for six friggin' hours waiting for your game to kick off. Uh, all right, well, handoff. Nothing there either. Tried to hand it off uh, through the middle. And another big play right there by the Tennessee defense. It's going to be third and nine or third, no, third and eight for Austin P. Yes, horse girl, they're playing now. 321 left to go in the first quarter. Yeah, there's still plenty of time in this game. I'm not too concerned, but all right, well, third and eight. Be great to get the ball back here on offense. Austin P 0 for 4 on third downs, looking to be 0 for 5 if they miss this attempt. So here we go, another empty backfield. Expect the quick dump off pass, but it might be something else. Pass play. Stepping out. Bring the pressure. Tyler Barron comes in with the huge set. No, I take it back. Aaron Beasley. Aaron Beasley came in there so fast he had no chance to even move. But there does appear to be a flag on the play. What are what are they going to say here? I think they're looking at delay a game. Oh, no, it's a illegal chop block, apparently. What? Okay, so it's a chop block on the offense. So it really doesn't matter. Tennessee is going to get the ball back anyway. That did concern me, though. Wow, what a, what a play by Aaron Beasley. He came in there so quick. Shut that play down before it even began. I'm telling you, man, this line is scary good. Love it. Love it. Our defense is really getting it together today. So it'll be another punt. This one going way back. D. Williams getting it from the 30. Run right here. Misses a couple of blockers. Still going. Stays on his feet. Finally taken down around the 42-yard line. So a great return there. I'm telling you, man, D. Williams is the real deal. I love that guy. The announcer's telling it like it is. We know Joe Milton's got a strong arm, but accuracy has been the problem. Uh-oh. 
Uh oh, we got Christian Charles. Christian Charles is hurt. Yeah, Christian Charles is hurt. That's one of our uh, defensive backfield, uh, one of our corners. We need we need all the corners we can get, man. We cannot be having that. Shoot, yeah, it's it's something with his leg. Hopefully, he recovers pretty quick. All right, let's see. Meanwhile, with Tulane, it's third and two. Quick little handoff right there through the middle. He's trying to get through the defenders, and he will. Good, it's good for a first down. And they're at, they're almost out of time, so they need to figure out uh, if they're going to score here or not. I'd imagine they want to. So yeah, twenty to seventeen in that game. Ole Miss uh, on top, but Tulane is driving. They're taking a shot right here. Over the middle, uh, not even a chance right there. Way over the head of the of uh, the receiver. Looks like North Carolina got them a touchdown, though, so they're up uh, on the board finally. All right, here we go. Tennessee's next offensive drive. This is going to be a handoff right here. Jabari Small, big run through the middle, and it is good for about 20 yards. He's going to run to about the 38-yard line. That's a good run right there by Small Vol. We need some more of that. Oh, they're bringing the pressure right there. It's going to be another run through the middle, and that's small for about a two-yard gain. They brought the entire house right there. All right, this is going to be a pass play by Milton. And, oh, he escapes the pressure. Milton still running, takes a throw. Oh, my God. Drop, quit dropping the freaking football. What are we doing? Joe Milton pulled one of the most athletic plays from a quarterback I've seen. I thought he was wrapped up for the sack. I don't know how you do. Oh, my. Dante Thornton had the ball and completely just dropped it. Is this a Milton thing to where he's just throwing the ball too hard? I don't understand. Third down for Tennessee. It's going to be a... No, it's going to be a handoff to Small. And he gets through and it's going to be a first down for Tennessee. So the drive will continue. Uh, he gets all the way to the 20... The 24-yard line, I think. So if, as if it wasn't evident enough, Tennessee's O-line is doing business like they should. Small with another run. That's about a four-yard gain. And Tennessee's officially in the red zone for the second time today. All right, second and six from the 20-yard line. Our lack of passing is extremely concerning. It's, it's so clear that the, we can run the ball. I just wish we could pass it, too. So another run by Jabari Small through the middle. Good for about three yards, maybe. It's going to be third and four, third and three. Yeah, not even three. It's, it's going to be about two yards. No, third and five now. And looks like somebody took a timeout. So Austin P is going to take their second timeout. With about 30 seconds left to go in the first quarter. Third and five coming up for us. We need to get something together. God, we've got to get it together, man. It's like a, it's like our receiver's hands are made out of rubber, because every time they look to catch the ball, it just bounces right off their hands. And the cameraman's trying to give me a freaking epilepsy seizure because he's sitting there going. Nobody wants to see that. Okay. Um. Huh. <sighs> 
third and eight for or third and eight for North Carolina or Appalachian State against North Carolina. Quarterback's going to make a run for the first down marker. He won't get there, so it's going to be... Uh, oh, there's a flag, though. Nonetheless, though, here's Tennessee. Third and five. Three receivers out. Four receivers, actually. I can't see the one on the very outside. Man in motion. Here we go. It's going to be Milton. Handoff through the middle, and no, not even close. I think that was Jalen Wright who tried to make a run for it. Didn't even get close. There's an Austin P player down, though. It's going to be fourth down for Tennessee, fourth and short. It's up in the air whether or not we'll, we'll, we will um, go for it or just kick the field goal. But, man, man, oh, man, oh, man. So, fourth and four for Tennessee coming up. Looks like the offense is going right back out there. And we're not going to get the snap off in time, so it's going to go straight to the second quarter. Ugh. Well, if this makes anybody feel better, you know, Georgia was tied uh, with uh, friggin' Ball State until the second quarter. So uh, Tennessee will get it together, I think. But we are really, really slow right now. Ah, oh, jeez. Man, oh, man, oh, man. Anyway... Looks like Appalachian State uh, got it on fourth down, I think. Uh, so now their drive continues. They're at second and goal inside the five-yard line. It's going to be a pass play to the end zone over the receiver's head. Uh, way too up in the air. And it'll be... Uh, yeah, it looks like it'll be third down for him. Roger David says, I'm not worried about it. I'm not worried either. I'm uh, Okay, let me rephrase it. I'm not worried about today's game. I think Tennessee's going to absolutely, you know, wh whichever way we can. Let's be honest. Tennessee could probably run the exact same play 50 times in a row or for the entire game and still be Austin P. That's not my concern. Next week, when we got to play Florida, I, uh, something tells me that if we have a passing game as blatantly just slow and weak as we have right now things will not go as smooth especially when we got to play teams like you know alabama and georgia and stuff like that to where we need a decent passing game uh yeah it's not going to run too well and so far all that's happened when it comes to passing the ball is the receivers have dropped the ball we've relied so heavily on our running game that it's going it's if we don't have a decent passing game up uh, going we, we may be in some big trouble Yeah, man, that's how it works. I make a smack talk video about somebody, and they always find a way to make make my life miserable. Hey, hey it happens, man. I made a, a, I made like ten smack talk videos last season, and uh, well, Tennessee won about nine of the nine or eight of those games. So, you win some, you lose some. Uh, Tennessee off to a very sluggish start though against uh, the Austin PPs. Not too proud about it, but we'll get it together. All right, let's see what else is up. So, uh, Tulane's still driving now. They're, so, they're uh, sitting now at the 40. It'll be second and 10 for them. What else? Get this. It's, I think kickoff was supposed to be like six and a half hours ago for uh, Purdue and Virginia Tech. It is still delayed, 
in the first quarter. Imagine being a Purdue fan or especially a Virginia Tech fan sitting there waiting for your game to kick off and then this this is what happens. You're sitting there sitting there for six freaking hours, man. I couldn't imagine. That's awful. Let's see what my radar says. Looks like our crap is cleared up, so we'll see how that plays out. All right, well, so Tennessee fourth and three. If, uh, of course, you already know what the offensive mastermind, Josh Heupel, you already know he is going to go for it. It's just a matter of what we'll do. Florida is only going to be good for one game this year, and that's next week. I, yeah, <laughs> that's how it usually works, man. Graham Mertz uh, so far has looked like one of the most terrible quarterbacks in the SEC. The next week, though, we just I just have that feeling he's going to look like Tim Tebow. That's how it works nowadays. Oh. I feel bad for Auburn. Don't they? Is it their kickoff time at like eleven o'clock? Because they. They got to travel all the way to yeah ten thirty is kickoff for Auburn versus Cal. They got to go all the way to uh, Cal Berkeley to play that game. Have fun with that. So here we go now. Tennessee fourth and three. The offense is coming back out there. Uh, all we need is three yards, and if we get this, we'll be in prime position to score. But the fact that our uh, passing game has practically been non-existent definitely concerns me. So here we go. Man in motion. Looks like uh Austin Pease taking another timeout. So they've so it's the fir the second quarter just started and Austin P has used up all of their timeouts. Tennessee with all three of theirs remaining. Um not really sure why they bother, but they must have seen something that we didn't. Looks like Kentucky is managed to at least move away a bit they're up now 28 17 on eastern kentucky and they have the ball so i imagine that they're gonna take care of business there michigan uh versus unlv it's 35 0 so they're taking care of business there um miami and texas a&m still on still at halftime is that right or am i behind on that okay no yeah no there's not Okay, I thought so. So it was behind. Anyway, Tennessee with the ball, of course. Austin Peay's out of timeout, so here we go. Austin P brings the blitz. Man in motion comes right back again. Eventually, they'll snap the ball. There we go. Now they'll snap the ball. Milton looking for a man. Quick shot. Incomplete. Broken up by uh, Austin P. And they'll get the ball back. Uh, with And Tennessee gets all the way to the red zone to lay a fat egg. Did he, did he touch it or was it just incomplete? No, I think he got his hands on it. Good lord, man. Jeez. Here, here's a stat for you guys. Uh, Joe Milton right now is one of eight. One of eight for 11 yards. I'm, I'm getting really close to uh, getting, getting frustrated with this team. Because they're starting to really, really piss me off. The big throw right there. Not even close. Incomplete. So it's going to be pass interference on Tennessee. Kamal Haddon. Um, did he did he even have contact on him? I didn't even see it. Either way, it's PI for Tennessee. So it'll be an automatic first down. All right, here we go. Here's the replay. <sighs> yeah. He had his arms around him. That's 
That's obvious. Yeah. I'm not even going to argue that. Good lord, man. Get it together! So, here we go. Uh, Austin P now at the 32. DeLillo taking a shot. Throws it. Found, found a man complete. Good for about 13 yards. And with one pass, he has already gotten more yards than Joe Milton. Let that one sink in. All it took was one pass. I'm... Getting really frustrated. Forty-seven yards uh, to go. Takes a deep shot. Oh, broken up by Kamal Haddon. Great, pa great pass coverage right there. Thank you. He tried to go for the long ball, and it is broken up. Great pass coverage. All right. Good stuff. We just need more of that. Um, second and 10 now for Austin P. Going to be a handoff right here through the middle. Good for about six yards. It'll be third and short. Looks like North Carolina uh, get, getting a big sack on them. Appalachian State up three on them right now, so they're, they're handling business. All right, well, here we go. Another handoff through the middle. He's, good Lord, man. Yep. He got, he looked like he was going to be way short, but he stayed on his feet with the second effort, and it's going to be a first down for Austin P. That's their first third down conversion of the day. Oh? No, it's going to be fourth down. Going to be fourth and short. So, yet again, Austin P. is not able to convert on fourth down. So it looks like Tennessee's bringing out all their big boys here on fourth and one because I've got a good feeling AP is just going to try and rush this one through the middle. Here we go. They're bringing up all their big boys on the line here. Man in motion. This is going to be a quarterback run, and he'll get it. So it's going to be another first down for Austin P. Ain't Joe's fault our receivers don't want to catch today. Uh, they couldn't catch COVID if they wanted to. You know what is his fault, though? It's throwing the ball faster than a speeding bullet, and it goes straight through their hands. But then again, uh, it's it's uh, it's faults on both right now. We got to get it together, though. It's it's fine. It's the heebie-jeebies. First, uh, first quarter issues. We're starting off bad, but we'll get it together. Weird pass coverage, and it seems, no. Read option. Completely faked out the defense again. Oh, but he took a big hit right there, and he looks he looks hurt after that one. Yeah, he looks shaken up after that play. I don't understand the play coverage right there. Um, yeah, it was another fake read option, and they got they got our defense pretty good. So now they're they're still driving. Second and one now. And this is going to be a quick dump off pass. Screenplay tries to get down to the marker but can't get there. So it'll be third and short for Austin P. SMH. So we need a. Oh! Big news uh, for Purdue fans, uh, the, the for Purdue-Virginia Tech game has finally resumed after six hours of weather delays. All right, Austin P. 0 for 6 on third downs. Tennessee going to try and get them again. Let's see what, they, let's see what they've got here. Third and one, man in motion. Handoff, it's a read option play, fools out the defense yet again. 
Gets the first down and a whole lot more. He's going to be stopped at the 21-yard line. They might as well just continue to do the read option. Our defense is like CPUs and NCAA. We just can't stop the read option. We're tricked by it every time. Looks like somebody... uh, Yeah, Austin P moved a little too early. It's going to be a false start, so it'll be first and 15 for him. I feel your pain. UGA had zero points after the first quarter of Ball State. Yeah, I, but y'all weren't losing. Y'all weren't losing. That's I mean that is definitely true. And right now, the way things are playing out, it's very possible Tennessee could find themselves losing. Austin, or uh, no, not Austin. Appalachian State, North Carolina tied up at 10. So here we go. First and 15. Three receivers out for AP. It's going to be a, a quick dump off. Pass. Boom. Big hit right there. Jalen, or Tamarian McDonald came up with the big hit. Play had no chance from the start. Whew. Huge hit right there. We need more of that. All right. Second and 16. They've got to get all the way down to the 11 yard line. They're currently sitting at the 27. Four receivers in motion. Looking for the pass play. Another dump off pass complete. Gets a lot of yardage out of that. And he'll get tripped up at about the 16 yard line. So he'll only have about five more yards to go to get the first down. It's third down. That's not good. Our defense looks exhausted. And I can't blame them. They've been on the field the entire game. So here we go. Third and five. Man in motion right here. Pass play. Quick dump off. Pass incomplete. Thrown too low and they won't get anything out of it. So it'll be fourth down and I... Knowing Austin P, they're getting ready to settle for three right here. Or will they? Yeah, okay, so they're going to settle for three right here. The field goal team's coming out. So here we go. 33-yard attempt. He nailed one from 45 not too long ago. Blocking the field goal would be really nice right here, but I'm not expecting that. So here you go. Here's the snap, the kick. It is up and, whew, yeah, not even, yeah, way, way over. And it is good. And looks like Ole Miss is getting themselves together. They just put up another touchdown. They're going to be out by two scores on Tulane with four minutes left to go in the game. So it looks like I might have been wrong about Tulane. It was a very competitive game, but the way things are playing out, it looks it, it's starting to look like Tulane, they're, they're, they're gassed. Well, definitely ain't Hendon Hendon Hooker. Well, I don't think Hendon Hooker, uh, I mean, how do I describe this? I don't think our receivers would be dropping balls like this if Hendon Hooker was playing. I don't understand what, why we just, all of our receivers have bouncy fingers right now. We got, we got foam hands and I hate it. So yeah, right now it's looking like, um, Ole Miss is going to take care of business against, uh, North Carolina, or, not North Carolina, Tulane. Michigan still up 35-0. They're about to win. Let me. I'm going to per, uh, put it on uh, ABC. Oh, it looks like Texas A&M finally scored. So they're going to... Um, they're still down, but it, it's going to be a lot more competitive now. Ernest Crownover made that big 19-yard reception touchdown. And uh, it's looking like it's going to be a very competitive game. Whew. 
Yeah, no, I know. With all the crap that I talked about with uh, Clemson, I'm I'm uh, definitely getting very, very irritated right now. Sheesh, man. Oh, jeez, that was my dog that bust down the door. Hello? Hello, hold up. So much for that. I thought the way she busted down the door, hold on. Hey, 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 where are you going? Come here, come here, up, come here, up, come on, get up. Hey, don't trip that, don't trip my charger. Come here, up, Lola, what are you doing? Come here, okay. Well, say hello to my dog, Lola. She just randomly decided she wanted to come in and be on the stream. Yeah, you good dog. Come here. Lola, come here. Hold on, let me go grab her a tree so that y'all can see her. Ain't nothing else too important going on, you know? Be careful. Jeez. You want the treat? I know you do. I know you do. All right, come on, up. Get up. There you go. Good dog. All right, sit. All right, well, Tennessee's getting ready to kick off again, so let's go ahead and turn that one back on. Hey, come here, up. You want a treat? Come on. All right, lay down. Lay down. Good girl. There you go. All right, well. All right. Now she wants out. You are getting really irritating. So, yeah, Joe Milton, one of eight for 11 yards. Absolutely embarrassing, man. We got to get it together on offense. So, Tennessee come about, coming back out for yet another drive on offense. And we absolutely need something here. Looks like Tennessee has got a ball game today. Maybe. I don't know. Well, here we go. First and 10. So it's going to be five receivers out. Dump off pass. Screen play to Jabari Small. He got some space, and it is going to be about a 15-yard gain for Jabari Small. So there you go. Milton. Uh, he, that's two. Two pass completions. That's, that's something. First and 10. Another pass play right here. Another screen play. And breaking a tackle, Brew McCoy gets his first reception of the day. They're about seven yards right there. You can hear the bruise. All right. Second down for Tennessee. It's going to be a handoff now. Run play. Breaks through, and he's going to go. Uh, it's going to be down to the 40, the 30, finally taken down at the 25-yard line. Good old small ball with a big run right there. It's going to be first and 10 at the 25-yard line, finally getting something going for us. Absolutely need that. Here comes the no-huddle no tempo offense. Quick pass play right there. Bullet pass complete. And it's going to be another first down. Huge hit right there. Ramel Keaton makes a completion, but looks like there is a late flag. What's that going to be? Uh-oh. Uh-oh, what happened? Pass interference? What did he do? Show it. Show it. We don't see anything. Okay. All right, let me see. Show the freaking play. Run right there. What? That's not the That's not the PI though. Show the PI. What are y'all doing? Freaking camera, bro. Y'all need to get it together. Okay, well Dump off pass, another screen, that one to Jacob Warren for about a couple of yards, I'd say. 
So it'll be second down for Tennessee. How in the world does Tennessee only have three points? Because uh, the offense was dragging. The exact same thing. Another dump off screen play. That one to Brew McCoy for about 10 yards. It'll be third and short now. About third, third, and third and four now. Bringing in the tempo offense. They'll snap the ball. Another screen. This one good for uh, the first down at least. What's the flag though? What? What's the flag? Holding on Tennessee, 15-yard penalty. So we're going to be pushed back again. Yep. Brew McCoy had, yeah, he, oh my gosh, this is just horrendous. What are, what the actual, what are we doing? All right, well, third and 11 now. Got to get all the way to the 20-yard line. This would be a good time to test out our, our uh, passing. Don't do a dump-off screen. Okay, here we go. Milton looking in the pocket. Takes a shot well oh, well, uh, well under the first down marker. It will be caught, but not even close to the first down marker. It's going to be fourth down. Sad. Sad. Another field goal, man. <sighs> All right. Well, fourth and four. This one uh, looks like about a 35-yarder. Kick is up. It's good. So we're going to be tied with Austin P. Hmm. <laughs> Bro, that crowd is sapped. That's the that's the out of any time in like the last year I've heard freaking uh Tennessee fans. Like like that's the quietest I've heard them in a long time. LOL fired Josh? What? No. No. Stupid. It's not it's not his fault we got uh foam hand receivers who can't catch the ball. Not to mention offensive linemen who just can't figure out what how to not have a freaking penalty going. No, Raj, we're tied with Austin P. I don't get Tennessee anymore, neither do I. We started off sloppy against Virginia, but eventually we got our act together in that game too, so I feel like eventually we'll get ours together in this game, but man, we look pathetic out there. I'm tired of it. I'm tired of it, man. Our offense is just non-existent. Well, meanwhile, uh, Texas A&M currently driving on Miami. They're trying to close uh they're trying to close the gap here down by 5. Stepping out of the pocket. Oh, pass tipped and still caught for about a nine-yard gain. That was actually really impressive. What a huge catch right there. Texas A&M's got some receivers, I'll say that much. Yeah, no, I, I will definitely say Austin P got bailed out right there on that stupid holding call. Pathetic, man. We got to get our crap together, man. We're, we're out here laying a big old egg. <sighs> All right. Hold on. I can do this through my phone now. I forgot. 
We got to switch up the lighting here. There we go. Orange lights. Got to switch up. Uh, got to switch up the lighting. Let me open these blinds so that it doesn't look so bland in here. Okay. There we go. Yeah, man, we need something to get the crowd uh, hyped again. Cause right now we just look completely sluggish. So there we go. Yeah, no, we Nico Nico can't play today, Lucas. Uh, he's hurt, I think. So Austin P, we're under five minutes left to go. Austin P's got the ball. We got to get it together, man. And look, look at how hyped up they're getting, man. They, Austin P looks like they have all the momentum right now. That's that's the saddest part about this. So here we go now, first and 10 from the 25. It's going to be a, a quick little dump off pass. Nothing going there, Tennessee with a big stop. It's second down. That's Aaron Beasley, another big uh, play by Aaron Beasley. We just need some more of that going and then we'll, we, will, uh, we will be good to go. Looks like A&M fumbled against Miami, so now the Canes will get the ball in prime position to score. Oof. Jimbo kind of Jimbo. All right, second and nine. They got to get to the 35-yard line for a first down. They're sitting there at the 26. <laughs> we got lucky there, man. Another read option. Once again, the defense was completely fooled, but the, one of the offensive linemen ran into the quarterback, so we'll be completely bailed out right there. Yeah, it looks like um, he looks like uh, the offensive lineman was trying to tackle one of the D linemen, and he just completely got in the way of the play. It's like he didn't even know what was going on. So that gives us that puts us in a prime position right here. It's third and fourteen. Austin P one for eight on third downs. They got fourteen yards. Got to get to the thirty-five. They're sitting there at the twenty-one. Four receivers out. Going to be another dump off. It's a screen play and got to the line of scrimmage, but nothing else there. It's going to be fourth down. Tennessee with a great defensive stop. They'll get the ball right back in their hands. Oh, I guess it was... Okay, hold on. Let me reset that. Thank you for letting me know about the scoreboard thing. I think it was because the my internet went out briefly, so that I think that messed with it. Let me fix that real quick. All right. Uh, well, what? What are they doing? I think they might run out of time here. Delay, delay a game might be incoming. One, zero, they won't get it, so it's going to be delay a game on Austin P. <laughs> that might have been a blessing in disguise, though, because it looks like he m fumbled the snap right there. All right, let me fix the scoreboard real quick. So, 4th and 15, they're going to need a really good punt here. Plenty of time. Is that a... F no. All right, there it is. There's the punt. Looks like a pretty decent punt going way back. Bouncing, still bouncing. Rolls all the way to the 33-yard line, so... That is where Tennessee will begin their next offensive drive.
Huh, jeez, man, we are looking kind of stinky. I sure do wish we could get it together. Okay. Let me just remove this scoreboard real quick. I'm just going to reset this so that that way um, I can fix the scoreboard. Or at least the scoreboard could fix itself. It'd be great. Boom. Now it should be fixed. Yep, there we go. Six to six. All right. Man, I, six to six with Austin B. That's ridiculous, man. Ugh! Blech! 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 Stinky. Yeah, two-minute drill. They should get moving now. I hope so, man. I hope so. Meanwhile, Miami's uh, sitting at third and six. 31 to 26 um, in that game. Doesn't look like too much interesting is going on. Here we go. Tyler Van Dyke stepping out of the pocket. The pass stays on his feet, makes the completion, and gets all the way down to the five yard line. The Canes now in prime position to go up by two scores. They, I think they're, I think they're about to uh, put the drop in on Jimbo, good old Jimbo Fisher. Thank you guys for joining in, though. We got 13 people in here. Uh, over 1,500 views total on this live stream. That's kind of crazy. Shout out to you guys for making that happen. Um, yeah. So uh, if you haven't already, make sure to give this a like and uh, sub up to Squid Tart Sports if you haven't already. I'm going to try and do these streams every single week unless if I'm actually attending the games. Uh, it, whenever that may be, I don't know if uh, there'll ever come a time where I'm attending one of the games based on what happened uh, beforehand, but man, I just hope that we can get it together. That's all I hope. Uh, I, I've heard several YouTubers say this, and it, it, it is definitely true. As a college football YouTuber, no matter what happens, you win. If your team wins, you get to celebrate, but if your team is losing... Well, that means you're going to get flooded with people, and that means you're going to get a lot more views. So it's a win-win situation, but that is at the cost of agony. Anyway, dump-off pass for Miami. It's a screenplay. Touchdown, Canes. How about that? Miami uh, is going to beat Texas A&M, it looks like. There's still a lot of time in the game, but uh, they're up by two scores now, and Texas A&M has looked completely uh, stinky. I don't really, yeah, I don't really care what Uncle Lou says about us, to be honest. You have to take that with a grain of salt. But anyway, um, here we go. So Milton, quick pass play right there. Another screen. This time it's taken down immediately. God, we look so one-dimensional on offense, man. I am definitely disappointed with what I'm seeing. All right. So there we go. It's going to be a run by Jalen Wright. A big run right there. Good for about 13 yards. So to be first down for Tennessee. Stops the clock briefly. Oh, the whistle's called. Oh, it doesn't really matter. Milton on the throw, looking for a man. Quick dump off pass. Got it to Jalen Wright, but it's going to be no gain right there. Wrapped up immediately as he caught the ball. So it'll be second down now. Under two minutes to go, and the clock is going down. All right, quick play right there. It's another screen. Brew McCoy still going, still going. Breaks a few tackles on his way to a 15-yard gain. Tennessee now all the way to the 45-yard line. I'm telling you, man, one thing Brew McCoy definitely has as, as a receiver is that he can break some men on the way uh, to whatever he's about to do. So another screen play for Tennessee right here. And that It's going to be about, yeah, that's Ramel Keaton for about nine yards clock will continue to run we're got about a minute left in the second quarter so here we go second and one this is going to be a handoff 
And Jalen Wright will get about five yards right there, so that'll at least stop the clock for the time being. 47 seconds to go. Looks like we got a hurt Austin P player, though, so that'll stop the clock regardless. He's holding his leg. That's not good. Whoa. Did anybody else hear that? Uh, if anybody else is watching the game, I just heard something, 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 little biatch. Jeez. That's kind of, yeah, that's, I don't know who did that. I don't, I think it was a Tennessee fan. Dick move, though. Dick move. See, I don't support the, I don't support when assholes like that do those types of things. That's kind of an asshole thing to do. Uh, I'm also very frustrated. I'm, I'm very, very frustrated right now. I will say that. I'm tired of, I'm tired of the stinky. Because we're laying a big old stinky right now and I'm getting real sick of it. Is this because of the NIL deal that he made? The McDonald's burger or whatever? The Milton meal? Is it because of that? <sighs> Man. Pathetic, bro. It, this is all... I hate to say this, and I hate to bring this up, because it brings up very, very horrible memories... But this looks almost reminiscent to what I saw in the Georgia State game. And I, I, I certainly hope that's not the case, man. We'll get together. It's still only the first half. We got a whole other 30 minutes to, to fix this up. All right. The trash talk in the trenches is almost always vulgar. Yeah, yeah, I know that. Yeah, <laughs> the wide receivers need to get an NIL deal with Butterfingers. Yeah, either that or a friggin' bounce house. Because every time they catch the ball, the ball just bounces right off their hands. I don't know how you can be people like Pigskin Pete, for example, who, like Clemson, for example, like sucked against Duke. He had to watch that game for four hours, watch the Clemson offense do Jack Diddley Duda for the entirety of the game, and somehow he kept his composure. Like, how do you do that? I don't understand. Like, is it just you become so comfortable with the pain that you adapt to it in such a way that it no longer affects you? Is that what it is? Because I'm starting to think that's what I feel right now. But everybody's been off to a slow start today. Uh, it's nothing new. But man, it's it's getting ridiculous. Uh, okay, commercial break instantly cuts off. And it looks like uh, Squirrel White's going to get a nice gain right there. But there is a flag though. What what's the flag? Let's see this. This is going to make me vomit. All right. 40 seconds to go, first and 14, 
Tennessee sitting at the 25 yard line. They need to get all the way down um, inside the te- or, or at the 11 to make this a first down. It's a run play. Oh, big run! How about that play by uh, Jalen Wright? They had him wrapped up, but he escaped it and got the first down. So at least I, I, I said this already, but we've got a really good run game. Another dump off pass going for the end zone. And, well, really good pass coverage right there. Tried to go for Brew McCoy. And, yeah, of course they don't call P.I. on that, even though it was very obvious. And here come the messages, man. I can't. I can't. Not right now. Come on. Just give me something. Give me something, please. Second and goal. It's going to be a handoff. Wow. Well, no, sh- no shittily do We, They all saw it coming. That everyone on the field saw that play coming because Tennessee can't pass the damn ball. Pathetic! What are we doing? We're relying so hard on Cheney Ball. I'm about to be on the friggin' danger zone. Highway to the danger zone. Yeah, it's gonna. I'm gonna be in the friggin' danger zone if y'all keep. My blood pressure is getting all the way up here, all the way up in the danger zone. Fucking sad, man. What are y'all doing? Get it together. Third and goal. Tennessee has to score here. Otherwise, they're going to have to settle for yet another friggin' field goal. We're only going to be up by three points against Austin P at half. Ah, uh, this is... Uh, man, I am... Alright, um... Let's see, I need to... What channel's the friggin' Alabama-Texas game gonna be on? I gotta load up the ESPN app and see... Okay, here we go. Third and goal. 20 seconds left to go in the second half. Or first half, excuse me, second quarter. Vol fans are hyped up for whatever reason. I I could use that too right now. Sheesh. Sheesh, man. So here we go, third and goal, uh, six yards to go, got to take advantage, got to throw the ball, do something to throw him off, run up the middle, ain't going to friggin' work, everybody in that stadium knows what's, knows that would happen. So here we go, three receivers out on the left, Milton takes the snap. Going to be a pass play. He's going to take it himself. Run in. Touchdown, Tennessee. About time. Thank you. Big run by Joe Milton right there. Complete. They expected the run up the middle by the running back. What they did not expect is the run up the middle by Joe. So that's great. Finally, we get a touchdown up on the board. I never thought I'd be that hyped to see a touchdown <laughs> against Austin P, but we will absolutely take it.
Looks like there was a. Looks like there might have been a flag on the play, but it looked like it was a face mask on uh, Austin P. So I. So really doesn't matter. So okay, after the play. So it'll that'll be on the kickoff, which really doesn't matter. Not it's not nothing's really gonna happen from it, but. We will take it. We will take it. <laughs> and the people are leaving. They were hope they were hoping to see me melt down if Tennessee didn't do something there, but we finally did. So, thirteen six now uh, with fifteen seconds left to go in the first half. Uh, so Tennessee will be up by a touchdown uh, unless if something drastic happens here with fifteen seconds left to go. Great play. Whew. All right. Well, let's see if I can find uh, this uh, this Alabama game because I want to be able to see what goes on in that game. Because right now, uh, A and M still got the ball against Miami, but it looks like no, no. I take it back. Miami's got it. I think. Yeah, they're at thirty-eight twenty-six. They have they have the ball. It's first down. Eight fifty three left to go in the game. Unless something drastic happens, I think they're gonna carry that. Cincinnati up ten zero on Pittsburgh. That's kind of shocking. Pittsburgh on uh, yeah the Cincinnati on the road. I really thought Cincinnati was gonna struggle this year, but looks like they seem to be getting it together. Okay, an Appalachian State score. So they're up seventeen ten on North Carolina right now. Duke currently only up 14-7 with Lafayette. Yikes. What else we got? They're playing Mo Bamba. <laughs> Oklahoma up 13-3 on SMU in the second quarter. Um, West Virginia by 14, uh, what, what, no, actually they're up by seven over Duquesne. Um, let me switch it to ESPN so that I can see the Bama, Texas game. Okay. Well, 15 seconds left to go. If Austin P has any sense, they're just going to probably try and chew this clock out, but you never know. They might try something here. Here we go. Here's the snap. It's going to be a quick dump off screen and <laughs> he got whooped. So yeah, loss of two and that'll be the end of the first half. So there you have it. Uh, that'll be halftime. 13 to six score at half Tennessee over Austin P. Um, yeah, we're putting up a stinky, uh, at least until that last drive. So let's go. Let me go ahead and make this uh, halftime video and then we'll get right back to the show because there is quite the show. Don't go anywhere. Squid Tart will be right back. And of course, I'll leave the, uh, the audio on my end running for you guys so you, you can hear what I'm saying. But uh, yeah. Man, oh man, oh man. Did not expect things to be this close, but the, uh, the fact that we scored on that final drive does give us a bit of momentum heading into the second half, so we'll take it. All right, let's make this video. Eep. Gotta lay down the chair. Gotta get this out of the way. Okay. That right there is a great summarization of Tennessee's passing game in 2023. Um, where do I start? Uh, so, as I've been saying for the past few weeks, it's obvious that Tennessee could run the ball. No issues there. Uh, J uh, Jabari Small, Jalen Wright, they're both having really good games so far, even though Tennessee only has 13-something points on Austin P. This is Austin P. we're talking about here. 
ridiculous. It's thirteen to six at halftime. Uh, it does give me a little bit of comfort to see that we at least got a score and that we're winning. But I, for a second there, I thought this is going to be near reminiscent of uh, the the game I dare not mention from twenty nineteen to start out that season. Uh, so I uh, that was definitely very concerning. So. A lot of teams starting out sluggish today, so that does give me a little bit of hope. Duke looks bad. Uh, Georgia didn't score a point on Ball State until the second quarter. Um, a lot of teams are playing like this, but Tennessee, there, there's some definite red flags that I'm seeing. And I talked about this uh, before in my preview, but we've got to be able to pass the freaking ball. Uh, and I know this is Austin P. Look, we could run the exact same play for the entire game and probably still beat Austin P. Uh, that's not my issue. The issue lies in the future against teams like Flo even Florida, and then you got you know Texas A and M coming up, South Carolina, Georgia, Alabama. You you know the drill. So uh, against all these SEC opponents, Tennessee has to be able to pass the friggin' ball. Joe Milton right now I think is like two of eleven for like thir uh, thirteen something yards in passing. Oh, that's stinky. That's awful. Now, this isn't entirely in fault to Joe Milton. This isn't, you know, a, a Joe Milton's fault entirely. I will say that. For, for some reason, um, we got wide receivers who've got hands made out of, uh, like, they got, they got Mickey Mouse hands. They got those hands made out of gl gloves, like rubber gloves trying to catch the ball. And, of course, shockingly enough, they aren't able to do it. Uh, Bruce dropped some balls, or Mel Keaton dropped another ball, just like last week. Uh, dropped some key uh, passes that would have put us in a situation. So this is this hasn't been entirely on Milton, but there's definitely some frustration going on around because Joe Milton's throwing these balls at 200 miles per hour, and these receivers are having a hard time catching it. So. All we've been able to do in terms of offense is Cheney Ball, which is running it up the middle, and dump off passes and screen passes on the outside. It's throwing off Austin P, which it's Austin freaking P! It's Austin P! This isn't like we're playing Alabama's defense, uh, which that's not really saying much. Um, it's just, we got to get it together, man. We got to get it together. We, we just got to get it together. That's all it is. There's still a whole other half. To get it together, you know, we only need to be better than Austin P. At least one point, at least one game in the season. Everything else, uh, we can be taken care of. But, jeez, man, we look incredibly sluggish on the offensive side of the ball, and it's got to stop. We've got to get comfortable with the ball. Milton's got to get comfortable with the ball. Have not seen any deep throws. It's always just been the screens. Or the dropped passes over the middle. We haven't seen anything else. So it's very concerning what I'm seeing. The run game's good. I've been saying that for the entire season. For anybody that wants to say, oh, we've got a great run game, I know that. Everyone who watches Tennessee knows that. We have a phenomenal run game. But that run game ain't going to be no good when we have a quarterback and a bunch of wide receivers who can't freaking catch the ball. Look, I'm... I'm 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 throwing it out there that this is just you know heebie-jeebies uh, from early early season play. We'll get it together in the second half. I have little to, I have little to no concern about this game today. Today is not my concern. Next week, the week after that, the week after that, the week after that. We're we're it's, it's it, we're very fortunate to be playing Austin P rather than UTSA right now. Because imagine UTSA with their offense. They might be winning right now. And then the coaching. The coaching has been ridiculous, too. I don't understand why um, it's been so bad. The offensive play calls are just... It's the same thing every single time. It's re It reeks Cheney Ball. And I hate it. You know how much I hate Cheney Ball? Because running out of the middle 50, 12, 50, 12 times a game... Ain't gonna really work out in your favor every single time, and shockingly enough, it hasn't for Tennessee. So I'm, I'm honestly, I'm thankful that we're even winning right now. So we've got to get it together, man. You know, there's a whole other half to be played. We'll get it together. Um, so for any other fan base that wants to clown Tennessee, remember that you pro you either a already have a loss or b came out and struggled today against a lower tier opponent like us. So yeah, yeah, take from that what you will. I'll see you guys at the end of the game.
All right, well, now I got to get that uploaded. Man, this is... This is something special, I'll say that much. Something special. I'm taking this off. All right, well, let's get back to the comments. Is there anything going on there? Still waiting on Joe Milton accuracy. Yeah, definitely. Definitely, man. It's ridiculous. That's the thing that concerns me the most is the the accuracy. And I talked about it all season long, all off season. The one thing I want to see from Milton is more accuracy. And, well, it, it, it just seems to be going on off a cliff. It's going to get crazy here soon. Big thunderstorm coming right at Knoxville, Tennessee. Is that right? Let's check WBIR and see for ourselves, why don't we? No. Yeah, I think you're wrong on that one, bud. You must be thinking of the wrong place because we, um, we don't look like that. Paul Warren says we suck. Uh, yeah, we don't look we don't look too good. We we should we're supposed to be winning this game by fifty. Look, I agree. You won't hear me saying that we. I, I don't think uh, we shouldn't be winning this game by. I mean, look at my score prediction. I thought we were gonna win sixty two to six, which we still very well could. Because uh, Austin Pease only scored six points. We hold him. We hold him to that for the entire rest of the game, and then uh, score fifty something points. We'll be will be golden. So. Very well could happen. Okay. Ready for Nico? Steve Stewart says, um... Uh, maybe. I don't know. I'm not ready to give up on my boy Joe Milton yet. I've been hyping him up all season long. It's been just one of those days for him. But if we come out and look like this against Florida next week, I'm gonna I'm it may it may be. I don't know. I don't know. But I'm putting part of the blame on the receivers right now. We look sluggish, though. Everybody's gonna be laying into us the entire, uh, the entire week. Now that we're struggling as bad as we are. Uh, let's see. Is Bama Texas kicked off yet? Let's see. Yeah, it looks like it. Looks like it. Meanwhile, Miami and A and M. Uh, Texas A&M currently trying to get something going. It's fourth and goal for A&M. If they do not get this here, it's going to be Miami ball, and they'll probably have that game solidified as a dub. It might miss them because it's hitting uh, us in Campbell County. I'm 30 minutes away from Knoxville. The storm is bad. Yeah, I'm looking at the radar right now. Um, it's like it's it's scattered storms and. Let's see, where's Campbell County at? Unless, because I, I, I don't think Campbell County is to the south. If unless if they are, uh, ten, uh Knoxville's not going to get hit because uh, it's like scattered storms, but it's all around to the east and the west. There's nothing from, there's not really much from down under that's really going to hit us. Uh, if it does, I hope it's way after this game's over, so that way we don't have to sit through another weather delay. That would blow. Man, this has been crazy stream so far. Thank you guys for coming in here. We had uh, 50 people in here at one point, which is crazy. A lot of those people thought, though, that I was getting ready to actually stream the game, but uh, no, not the place. Not the place. I ain't trying to get shut down by YouTube. 
We'll be ready second half. Still okay to be frustrated at that silly first half. Yeah, I, I mean, like I said, and I've said this multiple times, I, my concern does not lie with whatever happens today. That's not my concern. My big concern is in the future. That's all. That's because we can't be doing this against teams. Like, you know, like I previously mentioned, when we play SEC teams, we absolutely can't be doing what we're doing right now, which is laying a big old booty egg and crapping all over the field. Let's see what other... Okay, so I'm watching this Bama-Texas game right now. It looks like Texas A&M put up a touchdown, so they're... they'll be only down by one score uh, with about five minutes left to go. They could very well come back in this one, but we'll see. Whew. Okay. Trying to check out all the other scores. Looks like West Virginia Duquesne is also delayed. Uh, Purdue uh, and Virginia Tech are really going at it right now. It's 17 to 16. Uh, well, it's going to be tied at 17 because Virginia Tech has yet to make the extra point. So let's see. San Jose State surely didn't get off to a sluggish start. They're up. Uh, it's the fourth quarter though, but they're up 59 to three on Cal Poly. Wish we could play Cal Poly. 21 to 7 is the score of the Duke Lafayette game. <laughs> Looks like Pitt put up a touchdown finally. 10 to 7. Is that is that right? The game this should tell you how weird the, the, the delays have been. Um th this game's currently streaming on the CW network. <laughs> the CW network. He keeps under throwing. Can't yeah, no, I agree. Can't play like this against Florida. That's absolutely um that that's a gimme right there. Did I did I take off my hat? Where did I put my hat? It, it, it just hit me that I'm not wearing it anymore. Oh, I, for some reason I put it up there. I think I'm just so used to because I, I I'm so used to making my halftime or post game videos and then just putting my hat up after I'm done. Gonna put the hat back on. And this is my game day shirt right here. This is the shirt I've always wore on game day, and usually, uh, usually hasn't been too bad. But man, what are we doing? Okay, videos uploaded. Hurrah! All right, fellas. Well, this game hopefully will be getting ready to kick off pretty soon. I almost feel hesitant to say anything about Clemson's offense right now. I, I, I legitimately do, Toyota Green, because I, I feel like if I do, it's just going to come back to bite me uh, the way Tennessee's offense is out here playing. on the YouTube TV it's letting uh there's a there's a severe thunderstorm warning uh showing on the screen but I think it's uh for every county surrounding Knoxville not for Knox County let's get another look at the at the radar So it looks like Tennessee is coming back out. All right, well, let's get ready for the second half, baby. 
All right. Well, Tennessee does get the ball to start the second half. If we score a touchdown here, we'll be right in. We'll, we'll be uh, doing pretty good. Of course, of course, the University of Tennessee is on the rise. I'm there now. Of course, it's on the rise. You kidding me? The moment, the moment Squid Tart arrived on, arrived on uh, campus, that was the moment it rose. All right, well, uh, let's see what's going on with my... Oh, big pass by the Canes. George stays in the... Uh, yep, touchdown Canes. Wow. Oh, my goodness. Big pass play. George, number three on Miami, stays in bounds uh, when they tried to tackle him, and the Canes are going to win the football game. How about that? Miami on the rise. That's big for the Canes. Let's see what's going on with Alabama. They're currently starting their next drive from the 20. And all right. Well, nice little run right there. It's going to be a first down for Bama. For some reason, though, I'm watching this game on ESPN, but it's showing me the Pat McAfee show. I don't want to watch. I mean, I, I mean that'd be interesting if I could hear it. I don't care about that, though. So is that Jalen Milrow? Yeah, that should be Jalen Milrow. P pass over the middle. Incomplete. Oof. He got wrapped up right there pretty quick. Bam off to a pretty sluggish start on offense. So yeah, Kane's up there, forty-eight to thirty-three now, with that touchdown. Uh, that pretty much solidifies that game. Alabama with another big first down right there, completely trucked through a Texas defender on his way to uh, first down. It's uh, McClellan on that big run. He's a good running back. Give him a lot of credit where it's due. I'd almost just say put in the backup quarterback of Joe Milton. I mean, yeah, no, I agree, but. Uh, the way things are playing out, just give him some time. I think he'll get it together. I think he'll get it together, though. Let's see. Uh, what's going on with Bama? Another big throw right here, trying to run out of the pocket. Milrow on the run. He's going to escape the pressure, get a first down. It's another one for Bama. All right, looks like, yep, here we go. Tennessee, Austin P starting right back up, so we're going to get things rolling over here. 13-6 to six the score heading into the third quarter. We've got to get things rolling. Let's see, what should I watch? Um, there ain't nothing on other than uh, Texas, Alabama. Actually, Oregon, Texas Tech. Texas Tech put up a score on Oregon. They're up 7-0 seven, seven right now. Let me turn that on. It's on Fox, I think. Uh, Arizona, Mississippi State starting soon. All right, well, here we go. There's the kickoff. D. Williams taking this from the one. He's off. He's running. Big run by D. Williams. Escapes one tackle and goes down after a big, big return. D. Williams is such a friggin' beast, man. He's such a beast. All right, well, great start. Good, great run by uh, D. Williams. So here we go. Joe Milton's going to run back out on the offense. Let's see what he can do. Let me see where Oregon... Okay, so they're on Fox. All right, well, here we go. First and 10 for Tennessee. Let's get some rolling here. Joe Mill all alone in the backfield. 
He's going to take a pass play, dump off screen again. That's Jalen Wright. Good for about seven yards, so it'll be second and three. All right, second down. It's going to be a handoff right here. Got a lot of running space to go and still running finally down at the 32-yard line. That's a great start to this drive. Let's see if Tennessee can keep it going. Oh. Wow. So Austin P is going to take a timeout right here. They're going to shut they're going to try and shut down this Tennessee tempo by uh taking a timeout. Man, it Yeah, no, that's What's the philosophy on that? That's the Here we are in the second half. He's already used a timeout. Less than a minute has been used up in this uh third quarter and he's already taken a timeout. I guess they just can't handle the tempo. Ooh, meanwhile, Oregon with a big pass play and touchdown Ducks. Huge pass play, like 80 yards, something like that. And looks like Oregon's going to tie it. All right. Well, here we go. First and 10 for Tennessee. So they're going to start this uh, next, uh, not drive necessarily, um, next set of downs, that's the word. <laughs> they're going to start from the 33. Here we go. Man, they're taking all the sweet time possible. All right, Milton with the handoff. Going to be an outside run. Jalen Wright gets the first down and a whole lot more. And he's taken down all the way. He's going to get a big run. He gets all the way down inside the five. He'll be taken down around the four. So Tennessee in great field position. And they're already snapping the ball. Here we go. Oh, nothing there. Handoff through the middle. And they saw it coming. All right, well, second and goal for Tennessee now at the five-yard line. It's going to be a pass play by Milton looking for a receiver. Shot complete. Touchdown, Tennessee. Ramel Keaton catches it, and boom. Now we're in business, baby. That's how you do, that's how you do it. So 19-6 to now. Tennessee gets a touchdown up on the board. We need that. Meanwhile, Texas rolling out of the pocket on fourth down, and they're going to get it, looking like they're about to put up uh, points on the board first. So here we go. Tennessee going to settle for an extra point. And here's the extra point. The kick is up. It is good. So 20-6 to six is now the score. Tennessee drives directly down the field and takes care of business on that play. Good stuff. Good stuff. So 20 to 6 now as we head into another commercial break. Meanwhile, here's Texas. Ooh, he got a big hit right there as uh, he nearly caught that and made it all the way in for a touchdown. Watching the Bama Texas game right now, as you would expect. All right, well, good stuff so far, so I like to see. All right, let's see what Bama does here. Uh, or Texas, second and goal. I need a drink. It's going to be a handoff play through the middle, trying to get some blockers there, and he won't get Jack Diddley on that play. So it's going to be third and goal, Texas at the five-yard line. Ah.
Well, um, any any thoughts from you guys? You feel free to let me know. Um, I need to know what y'all think. We got a Bama player down, and he looks really hurt, so they're going to go ahead and move to commercial break on that one. How about this game right now? This is, uh, eh, this is looking pretty interesting. Right now, A&M trying to get something going. Uh, it's fourth and eight at the A&M 27. They might, I, I, I think they're done anyway, but they're looking to try and get some kind of morality points here. Tyler Shaw on the, th on the no, he's going to run this one out, and he's going to get about five yards right there. He's 3 of 4, 28 yards, one touchdown, so not a bad start for him. Oh, just blah, 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 blah. All right, well, the fact that we were able to complete a pass is a great start for Tennessee uh, in this second half. We just need to keep uh, rolling, keep the ball rolling, and uh, keep moving. That's the way I see it. Let me see if that my halftime review should have already been up. Looks like uh, Carolina Jackpot's live. He's probably already raging. Oh, that would be my sister. Uh, let's see. Uh, can you see my... Oh, that's because I'm, I'm an idiot. Okay, here we go. All right. <sighs> All right, well, commercial break's over. We're getting right back into it. Now with Austin P with the ball. Let's go, you deep. Looks like Texas Tech is putting the ball. Uh, it looked like you about muffed it right there, but it looks like uh, Oregon's going to get the ball. And there's the kickoff. Taking this one, and it's out of... Out of bounds, so they're going to get some extra yardage out of that. What's with their kicking team, bro? What, like, why are they suddenly so booty cheeks? Like, I don't understand that. Why, why is our kicking team so bad now? I don't, I don't get it. So Austin P will start this next drive from the 35-yard line. If Tennessee, if Tennessee shuts him out in the second half and then scores 42 more points, I will be right on my score prediction. So let's go offense. Not our, I mean, not their offense, obviously. Well, here we go. First and ten. Austin P from the 35. Man in motion. Pass play. No, it's going to be a handoff through the middle, and he's going to get a. No, he's pushing. He'll get about seven, no, three yards out of it. It'll be second and seven. As for Texas, an incompletion is going to set them up with a fourth and goal uh, at Alabama's 10. It looked like Xavier Worley had it, but he dropped it. All right, Mike DeLillo, second down, second and seven. This is going to be another. No, it's going to be a play by the quarterback. Tried to go for the read option and make his running back a blocker, but he ended up getting absolutely clapped by Aaron Beasley. So it's going to be third down. As for Texas, they settled for three, took a field goal, and it'll be 3-0 Texas. So about that, the Longhorns getting the first points on the board. All right. Third and nine now for Austin P. All 
Receiver in motion. This is going to be a pass play right here. Ain't going to get much out of it. He is shut down immediately. Whew. Kamal had it with the big tackle right there. Fourth down. Austin P is going to have to give the ball right back to Tennessee. That's how you do it. Finally. Looky there. Well, actually, no. I take that back. The defense has been doing their job all day today. Uh, they dominated. That's a huge play by Kamal Haddon, and Tennessee will get the ball right back on the offensive side of the ball. So I like to see. Now let's put up some more points. I would love to see that, personally. So there we go. There's the punt. This is going a long way. Bounces out around the 25-yard line, so Tennessee will start their next drive right around there. Ah, the sweet taste of finally getting something good. Delicious. So, second and goal, meanwhile, for Oregon, you're going to run it right in. So, touchdown Ducks. Now, they've taken the lead in that game. Meanwhile, here's Tennessee. Milton, this is going to be a pass play, play action. Oh, they got to him immediately, and he is getting a big sack on him. Sheesh, yeah, he got hit hard right there. The offensive line did him absolutely no favors. They broke through there like, like Swiss cheese. Sheesh, we're missing Cooper Mays bad. Our center just got completely... Our, like, they didn't even stand a chance. Our, our center got slapped right there. He said, get out of the way. Here's Jabari Small, run on the outside. Good for maybe two yards. It's going to be third down. All right, here we go. Tennessee, three receivers out. Got small in motion, third and 14. Milton on the pass play. They're bringing the pressure. Quick dump off pass and dropped by Jabari Small. What the f... That's what I'm talking about, man. This 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 is stupid. Who's our who's the guy responsible for making these players catch the ball? What's going on, man? Nobody can catch. Where's our wide receiver coach at? Why is he not screaming in their faces to be like focus on friggin' catching the ball? These receivers are trying to run and make big plays while also catching the ball. I think you should focus on catching the ball to start out with. Oh my gosh. And here we go. No, stop, dude. Why are you fighting? Warren Burrow, what are you doing? Skirmish on the sideline. The players are fighting. Oh, goodness. Come on, man. Oh, my gosh. This is just awful. I hate this. What were we favored by again? 48.5 was, I think, the, the favoritism on that one. The, uh, the, the spread, to be exact. Lucas, we still don't look fine. Is that my laptop making that noise? Oh, my gosh. My laptop sounds like it's being cooked. Listen to that. Oh my gosh. Um, yeah, I don't really know what to do about that. Sounds like it's about to friggin' blow up. Uh, anyway. The storm is now where I am. Where are you at, Lucas? Because if... Okay. 
Because, yeah, no, there's... That's weird. It's weird. There's, like, nothing around here. It's it's all across uh, the East Coast and even where, uh, like, like Newport... Like Clinton was like got hit hard, but we're we're fine. We're vibing here. Did it did it switch trajectory? I wonder. That's not possible. Storms don't storms don't just decide they want to go in a three and a one eighty. They they don't just do that. So, let's see who's got offense on the Bama Texas game right now. Okay, it sounds like it might have been a deal with the charger. Maybe it got overclocked or something, but. Now my computer doesn't sound, or my laptop doesn't sound like it's about to go off. Jace McClellan for a, a decent little run right there. So Bama's got ball. They're still down uh, 3-0. Man, they look submissive on offense. They just don't look like they got it. <sighs> All right, well, here comes Tennessee back out on offense. Or what, maybe. I want to see... Oh, okay, so that's a that should be a penalty on Austin P then because Warren Burrell wasn't the one who got aggressive there. He only got aggressive because he was thrown to the ground by this guy. And then he wants to put up and say, Oh, I didn't do anything! Well, I wonder if, I wonder if they're just going to say, Eh. Or if they're going to do something about it. We're about to find out. So they're not. Okay, so Austin P. Ball, first and 10. Got receivers in motion. Four, four receivers to be exact. It's going to be a quick dump off pass. Complete run play right there. He goes down uh, and he'll get about five yards right there, I'd say. So second and five coming up. Second down and five. Ugh, geez. Looks like they're about to blitz. That's exactly what they do. Taking a shot. Deep ball. Nowhere near him. What? Are you fucking kidding me? That is not P.I. That is... That is actual bull. Let me see. Okay, hold up, hold up, hold up. Let me see. He barely even ran into him. And the ball was so far away, he wasn't even going to catch it anyway. Fucking stupid ass refs, man. What are y'all doing? We're not enthralled by the officiating. Wow, what words? All right, well, over the middle, complete. Oh, fumbled. We got it. Aaron Beasley's running with it all the way down inside the 40. Tennessee gets the ball, turnover. Uh, Austin P fumbled. Yeah, that's what happens. You see what happens when you lie? You see what happens? Uh, and complete pass, yeah, Let me see. His knee was not down! I'm about to... F Has officiating gotten to a point where they don't even attempt to make it make sense anymore? Tennessee has been playing like dog water the entire game, and yet somehow these stupid officials are pissing me off more than they are! Yeah, yeah, under review. You bet your freaking booty cheeks it's under review. What a load of bull. Let me listen to what they got to say. Yeah, under review. That's right. That's right. It's under review. Don't, e don't even. Don't even walk around trying to say, Oh, well, his knee wasn't down and, he, and the ball came out of his hands. That must be an incomplete pass.
<sighs> I don't understand how how they can be this just incompetent with uh, officiating. I, I don't understand. I really don't get it. Okay. Well, anyway, we're. I think things should go back in our favor because they're going to overturn this and give it to Tennessee. But I really, I mean, you had the you had the most bum pass interference call I think I've ever seen, and then follow it up with it. Oh, it's an incomplete pass from our point of view. Uh, yeah, right. I need water. I need to put ice in this because right now, right now my forehead, I'm boiling mad after that. <sighs> North Carolina in trouble now. They're down 24-20 against Appalachian State in the fourth quarter. Uh, they seem to appear to be having the hardest time of their life. Jeez, oh, man. I'll tell you, it, it, you know, this shit, man. Yeah, I don't, I don't really know what, what, what's going on. Yeah, it's <laughs> maybe it is about time to throw the mustard, huh? Is, is, is it time for the mustard? Do we need to get that back out? Do we need to throw out the mustard again? I think it might... Yeah, if, if this keeps going on, I think one of these refs needs to get... Uh, yeah, I think mustard needs to, like, you know, go barely over... Because I can't incite violence on here. That would be bad. And I'm, I'm not trying to do that here. I, I don't want anybody to get hurt. Uh, if that makes sense. So obviously I don't want, I'm not going to sit here and tell you guys that I think uh, these refs should be pelted with mustard. That would be wrong of me to do. Uh, that would be, that would be very uninsightful. <laughs> My parents currently watching, uh, live stream on uh, their TV in uh, their cabin. My parents are out of town this week. That's why nobody's busted into the door yet. Anyway, the game's back on, so. So absolutely, that's a turnover. No question about it. He was His knee was not down when the ball slipped out of his hands, and Tennessee absolutely deserves to get that ball. <laughs> but they didn't overturn it. Get that. They didn't overturn it. Unbelievable. I'm I'm very shocked, um, to say the least. Well, it's going to be a quick pass right there. He's going to throw it in. Oh, no, way over his head. Incomplete, deflected. They tried to go for the... They went for the Tennessee playbook, too. They had two... They had the, uh, the option... The option pass play. And it would have worked if this wasn't Austin P. Great job double coverage right there. Was I'm a little I'm a little surprised they didn't whip out the flag there. Because the way the the way these refs have been doing their thing, I've been very irritated. It's been very irritating. Austin P one for ten on third downs. It's it's another third down for him. They'll be one of eleven if they can't make this one. They've got to get down to the forty one yard line. They're sitting at the fifty one. All right, well, here we go. Handoff on the outside. Going to be a run. Won't even get close. It's going to be about five yards short, and it's going to be fourth and five. Tennessee should get the ball back here. Whew. Are they... Well, big balls, big balls are going for it here on fourth and five. This is uh, this is gonna be something. Tennessee's absolutely gonna need this stop right here. Fourth and five. Here we go. 
What are they going to call here? Man in motion. They're bringing the blitz. This is going to be a quarterback run, and he's taken down. Great call right there. J um, no, uh, Wesley Walker came up on the outside and ca came in and took the quarterback down. Play never had a chance. Let's go. Good stuff. Good stuff. Thank you. LSU now tied with Grambling? Is that right? No, can't be. Good grief, you are right. LSU's tied with Grambling. They're up at they're tied at seven. Even Florida, they're six six nothing over McNeese. So here we go. Milton Ball, baby. From the forty eight yard line. Tennessee. He, here it goes. Milton on the run. He's going to get about eight yards on that uh, nice little run right there. Uh, he, he's slow to get up, though. Looks like he's got some Tennessee people there to help him get up. And he is, all right, he's fine. He's fine. Yeah, there's a nice run right there. Milton can surely run the ball, that is for sure. So here we go, second and two from the 40. And false start. Crap. We can't catch a break, man. We could just we just cannot catch a break. Second and seven now, uh, with the penalty. All right, run right there. Nice, I guess. That is, uh, who's that? Was that Dylan Sampson on the run? Oh, great. Now we got to listen to the announcers mispronounce his name. All right, Milton with the ball. Oh, nice completion right there. Way over the heads of the receivers. Or Mel Keaton came with that play. That was nice. All right, here we go. Dump off screen. This is Squirrel White. Breaks a tackle all the way. Moves past the blocker, and he's down to the five-yard line. Another nice little dump off screen. We really have not taken any deep throw attempts, but uh, I guess it's going to play out in our favor if we score here. It's first and goal, and oh, whistles are blown. Austin P is calling the sec second time out of the game. They're trying to stop the tempo. It's, I mean, I guess it's to be expected. I'm watching this uh, Pat McAfee show uh, where they're showing the Texas Bama game, and they got they got Matthew McConaughey sitting over there. All right, all right, all right. So yeah, you get to hear some of that if you turn on the Pat McAfee show. That's right, Austin P. Use all them timeouts. Yeah. Everyone's got the heebie jeebies. Yeah, seems to be the case. Hey, I mean, that's fine. You know, if, if everyone has it, that makes nobody that mean no, that means nobody wins. Nobody can come out um, and say, oh, this team looked terrible, because your team looked terrible too. So Oregon, I guess, got a turnover now. They're sitting up 15 to 7. Over Texas Tech. Deep throw right there. Oh, wow! Touchdown, Texas! Holy crap! Deep throw by the Longhorns. Uh, wow, Quinn Ewers makes a perfect dime right there. Uh, wow, looky there. So, touchdown, Texas. They're leading Bama now, pending the extra point, 10-3. to That's something crazy. All right, let's see what uh, Tennessee does now. First and goal from the five. It's going to be a handoff. Jabari Small trying to break through tacklers. Won't even get close. They, they all saw it coming. Jabari Small, slow to get up. Somebody's booing about something. Whoa. 
What's that dude doing with his helmet ripped off? Why are y'all mad? What happened? We don't get to see this stuff. What happened? Man, that Austin B coach, he's big mad about something. Okay, anyway, second and goal uh, now from the four-yard line. Man in motion. This is going to be another. No, it's going to be Milton with the pass plug. Oh, wow. No, I think he caught it. Yeah, Squirrel caught it. So it's going to be uh, first down at, or no, third and goal at the one. Tennessee bringing in that tempo offense. Looks like they might try and jump in, but no, they're going to, yeah, of course, there comes the, here comes the, the saviors of Austin P. The Zebras coming in to review it. Oh, good grief, man. All right, let's see. Oh, bobbles it, but it's... Okay. We can't see anything from that angle. Why do you even bother? You might as well show us... Uh, you might as well show us what the... Uh, you might as well show us the Alabama-Texas game if that's the angle you're going to give. Okay, they, thank you. I think he caught it. I would have said it was incomplete if it looked like he was incomplete, but that looked like he caught it. Look at him. They're like, hmm, has this Austin P. check come in yet? Yeah, the check bounced, sir. All right, well, here we go. Here we go. Here, here, Here's what we think about that. Incomplete, yep. Yeah. yeah, why? <sighs> Meditation. 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 That's what you got to do here. Just meditate. Just calm down cuz I'm if it, if it weren't for that I would be I would throw my headset right now. Oh, I, oh boy. It's, it's a good thing the mustard ain't on that field yet. Mm. Well, here we go. Third and goal from the 4. Two receivers to the left. The announcer seemed to think this is a quarterback draw. Milton on the snap at some point. Here we go. Snaps the ball. Pass play looking. Throws the ball quickly and incomplete. Yeah, Squirrel White didn't even have a chance to catch that one there. No, it wasn't. It wasn't very close to a pass interference. Even if he just grabbed his arms and grabbed his helmet and drug him down, it wouldn't have mattered because these refs, they, they, it's like they just dragged some blind hobos on the, on the freaking, uh, officiating crew and call it a day. Where do they get these people from? Good Lord, man. Well, here's the field goal. It's good from 22 yards out, 23 to 6. It's like they're just... Oh, of course, Tennessee shouldn't be in this position anyway, but it's like the officiating crew. It's like what they did was they just dragged out some of these methed up hobos from the from uh, the sidewalk in downtown Knoxville. They were like, oh, yeah, these guys, these guys know how to officiate a game. Let's throw them out there. Idiots. Idiots. It's like when they do an eye test and you know you got all the all the letters up there, you know, E T Y hey, Giraffe 62 Hunter Renfro Like what are you all doing? Get your fist out of your anal cavity and just officiate a game correctly. I'm boiling mad now. I'm boiling mad. <sighs> Let's 
It's 23 to 6, 6:33 left to go in the game. We should be up by 82 right now and somehow some way we found a way not to do that. Well, he's going to kick it out, uh, and it's going to be a touchback for Austin P. Meanwhile, it looks like Bama is doing what they're doing. Uh, first down for them. They're in the, uh, the 40. Boiling mad, man. Okay, well, it's first and 10, Austin P. Let's see if Tennessee can shut him down here like they've been doing all game long. Pass play right here. Throws over the sideline, or uh, the the slant route. The sideline, the slant route uh, went for about eight yards. It's going to be second and two for Austin P. Oh, what? Hold up. False start. It wouldn't surprise me if they said false start on the on the defense. We're the only ones who can do that around here. Stupid ass zebras. Oh, Jalen Milrow sacked real hard by Texas. It's going to be fourth down. The Longhorns going to get the ball back. Second and six now for the Austin PPs. 5.50 left to go in the third quarter. This is going to be a handoff. Nope, it's another read option. They tricked him again, but this time he was too slow to get to the first down marker. He'll get about three yards on the play. It'll be third and three for Austin P. All right, now they run through the middle, and they got the first down with little to no difficulty. Wasn't even it wasn't even a challenge right there. They pulled out the tempo move, and it worked out pretty well for them because they everybody in that stadium thought it was going to be another read option, but this time this time they did it differently. Pass play on the throw. He's going to take a deep shot, and oh nope, not even close. Incomplete. Nice. Nice coverage by Wesley Walker. No question about it. Now it's good too because, geez, yeah, Warren Burrell, he, he, he got burned on that play. That could have been very bad. Great play by Walker to get up there and make that play happen. Second and 10 now for Austin P. am holding my knees and rocking back and forth. This is, not, this is how you know that my nerves are kicking in. Well, here we go. Handoff through the middle. Breaks a tackle. Breaks another one. And he'll get about six yards on that play. It's going to be third down. So here we go. Third down. They're bringing out the tempo. Three receivers to the right. Um, here we go. Handoff through the middle. Uh, he's It's the quarterback. And we just complete... What was that tackle? So it's get okay. So it's gonna be a first down for Austin P because our people do not know how to tackle uh, specifically on that play. The one time you needed to tackle, instead of wrapping them up like you usually do, you go, eh. and of course he just breaks the tackle instantly. So from the fifty, Austin P will get another drive going. It's going to be a handoff. No, it's going to be a fake pass play, play action. And down he goes. Big sack right there. Joseph's got up on him. Came from right, right from behind. He didn't even see him. And that's a huge sack for Tennessee. The edge came in and just slammed him from the back. The poor quarterback didn't even see it coming.
All right, here we go. <sighs> Second and 16 now. We go man in motion running out. This is going to be uh, the quarterback staying alone. Dumps it off. Completes it. Tries to run away from the pressure, but he won't get much out of that. And it'll be third down. It'll be a third and ten for Austin P. No, third and eight. Take it back. Well, here we go. This will be huge. Got to get him here. Two forty-four left to go in the third quarter. Running back out of the pocket. I'm almost expecting them to fake the read option here. It's going to be something like that. I can already see it. I can already see it. Well, here we go. Snap. It's going to be a handoff through the middle. They they did exactly what I thought they would. They faked the read option, gave it to the running back, got about three yards on it. It's going to be fourth down. And I, I'd imagine, yeah, Austin P is getting ready to go for it. they got nothing left to lose at this point. So it would not surprise me. So here we go. Austin P two for three on fourth downs. They got five yards to get. Well, here we go. Men in motion, four, four receivers out. Look for the read option. Look for it, you know. I've got that feeling. No. No, okay, so. Yeah, Austin P is going to call their final timeout. We aren't even to the fourth quarter yet, and they've already used all three of their timeouts. Oh. As for Texas, they're already to the Bama 30-yard line. And they could potentially go up 17-3 to if they score here. That'd be huge. Let's see what else is going on around the world of college football. Uh... Purdue and Virginia Tech tied up at the at the end of the third quarter. Seems like that one's been that game has been going on for like eight hours at this point. Texas Tech now scored. They're up. Uh, they're still down fifteen thirteen against Oregon, but it's quite competitive. Um, Wisconsin's losing to Washington State. Wazoo up seven nothing. LSU up on Grambling fourteen ten. Charlotte. 14-0 against Maryland. Look at there. How about Charlotte? All right, fourth and five. Austin P. four receivers out. They're doing the exact same thing that they were going to do beforehand, it seems like, or maybe something different. I don't know. Yep, receiver moving out of motion. Pass play. They're bringing the pressure. Almost got him. Yes, they got him. Big play right there. They brought the pressure again. Man moved in motion at the very last second. Aaron Freaking Beasley, baby. Love that guy. He's a beast. Oh, yeah. That's like the fourth time he's gotten to the quarterback tonight. He absolutely dominated him again. Home sweet home to me. Look at that, man. That's the second time he's done that tonight. Uh, I, at least I know that for a fact. And he should have seen that, too. And I think he did. I think he saw, like, as soon as he snapped the ball, that Beasley was beelining straight towards him, and he tried to get away. But, yeah, no, not even close. So five sacks tonight for Tennessee. That's uh, Our defense is killing it, man. We're killing it on, the, on that side of the ball. So Tennessee starting on Austin Peay's side of the field. Milton, dump off screen, nothing there. Our offense is so one-dimensional, man. Can we like do something? Is it is it was it an Alex Golish thing to throw the deep ball because we've seen nothing like that tonight? So here we go, another run play. Jalen Wright gets about six yards, and it'll be third down. Y'all are really don't don't squander this, man. What are y'all doing? So here we go, third quarter. Tempo offense coming out. Austin P can't can't call a timeout though. 
Callan Castle's in motion. Two receivers out to the left. Milton on the throw. They're bringing the pressure. Gets the throw off at the last second. Underthrown by a significant margin. I don't even... That wasn't even on the receiver. He was open. Milton just completely threw it. He just threw it to the grass. The grass can't catch the ball. Oh my gosh, and they're going for it. All right, well, now we're going for it. Three receivers out. Oh, they're bringing the pressure. Looked like a man jump off sides, and yes, he did. Man jumped off sides, so Tennessee's going to get the first down right here. At least it's that's what it should be. We'll see if uh we'll see if uh the hobos from the downtown have anything else to say about it. That's right. So they called offsides first down Tennessee. Yeah, no question about that, man. He, I saw it before anybody else did. Yeah, Maryland may not be all that. They're they're really struggling against Charlotte. Meanwhile, let's check in on Texas and Bama. Texas still driving down 10, 10 to three, or they're up ten to three. Now what's the flag? Another one. What's this though? False start, of course. Good lord, man. We got to get the penalties under control. <coughs> we go first and 15. Handoff. Uh, Jalen Wright trying to break through some blockers, but he won't make much out of that. It's second down. This offense is just so one-dimensional. It's the same two plays. Screenplay on the outside. Run it up the middle. Screenplay on the outside. Run it up the middle. Screenplay on the outside. Run up the middle. Screenplay on the outside. Another one. Second and eight. Ball comes out. Fumbles it. Austin P has the football. I don't even, where, where, where do, where, where, I'm speak, I'm speechless. It's the same two freaking plays every time. That time it worked out until he fumbled it though. Mel, they, they, they stripped the ball from Mel Keaton. That was just a good play by Austin P. But this offense is just, they're just so, so, so bland. I'd like to see us play Clemson now. I want to see us see. I want to see us play Clemson now and see how that plays out. So Austin P starting from the 18 yard line. Man on the run on the outside. He's got blockers. Boom! Big hit. He'll get about four yards right there. It'll be second and six for AP. So that'll end the third quarter, and we're gonna go into the fourth quarter, up by about 17 on. Austin P. Yeesh, man. We got to get this under control. So we move on to another commercial break. Things aren't looking as spicy as I wish they were. All right, let's check. Let's catch up on the comments here. OMG, what the hell? Yeah, that pretty much summarizes my uh, game right there. Texas, Alabama game update. Bama right now. Uh, Texas just kicked a field goal. They're up, uh, 13-6, uh, or 13 to, 13 to 3? 13 to, 13 to 7, something like that. 
Let me look again. 13-3 is the score of that game. Uh, very vanilla. Yeah, no, no kidding. SMH, they're making this game hard as a... Uh, yeah, no, I completely agree. Absolute shit show tonight, yeah. Your power went out. Maybe that's a blessing in disguise. And that Now you don't have to watch whatever crap we're about to do on offense. Because it's like I keep telling you guys. It's the exact same thing every time. The reason why Tennessee's offense sucks ass right now is because they, we at least mixed it up last year. Because, you know, first down, uh, outside run. Then they take a deep throw, or they'll try and do a dump-off pass or, or a screen to the outside, or they may try and do one of those trick concert, you know, trick plays where they throw it to another receiver who then throws the ball, or the uh, you know, it was always something new every time with Tennessee. That's why their offense was so successful last year. This time though, and I, and I see it now, put Nico in, that won't fix this. That won't fix the offense because it's the exact same two plays every freaking time. Run up the middle. Screenplay. 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 You'd think at some point Austin P would be able to recognize, oh, wow, they're doing the exact same two freaking plays. Let's expect this or let's expect this. Shockingly enough, Look what's played out. They've expected the screen to the outside or a run up the middle. That's why our offense sucks. That's why it sucks. God, y'all are... Y'all are killing me, man. This is week two. Week two. I wasn't this mad last year until we got all the way to the freaking meltdown against South Carolina. Here we are now rolling into this... Austin P. And we can't figure out what offense is. If only we had last year's offense, man. Where where did Alex Golish go? Who who's the who's the moron that's running our offense now? I'm tired of it. I'm tired of it. Get Cheney Ball out of here. I'm tired of this, man. Of course it's working today. Of course this of course this vanilla ice cream philosophy type offense is working today because this is Austin P. This is a team that in every single position except for coaching probably, they are completely completely outmatched. So of course Tennessee is going to outmatch them on every side of the football. But man, the same freaking plays every time <sighs> gotta get it together man gotta get it together Joe Hazel gotta get it together man do something different but we won't even know about that next drive until we see whatever happens here so second and six now Austin P um we'll have to see how this plays out man all right well here we go So now they'll do the screen. He dropped it. 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 Yeah, incomplete pass. So it's going to be third and ten for, or third and eight for Austin P. Yeah, no, no question about it. Why did he even pick it up? He knew it was incomplete. All right, third down. As much crap as I gave Tim Banks last season, he's doing a phenomenal job in this game. The defense is still, you know, out playing out of their minds today. Uh, and they've been on the field for 50 minutes today, so I give them a lot of credit. Third and six now. They're going to, they might run out. No, they're going to snap the ball. Looking for a man over the middle. Oh my gosh, he got it. Complete over the middle. No, no man in sight. He threw it right over our defenders' heads. Yeah, no question about it. They're bringing the tempo in. Way over the receiver's head. It's going to be second and ten. Incomplete pass. And of course, as soon as I talk good about Tim Banks, he follows it up by letting that happen. Come on. Come on, man. 
Yeah, if we get another third down, they may just play third down for what? Because they did that against Ole Miss last year after we got so many... Uh, what? 0 0.28 on the clock. Uh, somebody needs to fix the clock. Okay, there we go. Now it got fixed. Oh, big sack right there. His own man... Yeah, one of our edge, uh, one of our edges just literally pushed an offensive lineman into him. Yeah, <laughs> number fifty-five, bro. And bro, our edge is playing out of his mind tonight. He pushed that offensive lineman. Looks like he was twice his size, and he bodied him and pushed him into the quarterback, and then proceeded to land a sack on him. Bro's a beast. Love that guy. Love that guy, man. All right, well, third and 18. Uh, this is reminiscent of something I've seen before. Absolutely no excuse to let them get this. Got five receivers out, five wide on the play, and what in the world is going on there? Looks like somebody, uh, it, was, it looks like it was a false start. Nope, delay a game, okay. Nice. So here we go. It's, it's going to be third and 23 now. All right. Well, come on, baby. Third and 22. Four receivers out. Absolutely no excuse to let this one get ahead of you. Here we go. Three, two, one. They snap the ball. Man trying to throw. Deep shot going all the way down. No chance. Intercepted by Kamal Haddon. He finally did it. Finally. He turned around. He turned around. Kamal Haddon turned around. Breaking news. Kamal Haddon turned around when on defensive coverage he got an interception. Wild news! Let's go! Kamal Haddon turned around, got the interception. Tennessee gets the ball right back in their hands. Thank you so very much for your patronage. Whew! Yikes, man. Man, that'll, that'll take a lot out of you, won't it? Okay. Let's check in with some of these other teams. Texas currently still 13-3. Uh, Alabama third and 11. They're trying to make a throw right here. Milrow escapes the pressure. He's trying to run out and he just gets taken down. I don't. Know, he he couldn't find a receiver, I guess, and just ran into his uh, and ran uh, out of bounds. So Texas will get the ball back in that one. Check check out some of these other games. Purdue and Virginia Tech still going now. Purdue up 24-17 on the road at Virginia Tech. North Carolina. Oh, God, I got to turn on that North Carolina Appalachian State game. They're tied uh, in uh, with a minute left to go. North Carolina at their own 19. I got to turn that game on. SMU and o Oklahoma. What's going on with y'all? They're at 14 3 over SMU going into the fourth quarter. Yeah, everybody having the heebie jeebies tonight. That's for sure. Um, LSU put up another touchdown on Grambling 21 10. Uh, Jaden Daniel seems to be having a pretty good game. 145 yards and three touchdowns. Wisconsin put up some points on Washington State. Florida, 13-0 over McNeese. Charlotte, uh, looks like Maryland put up some points on Charlotte. So good for them. <laughs> oh my gosh. Get this one, fellas. Get this one. Guess who's losing to Furman right now? The cocky walkies. South Carolina is currently losing to Furman. Good lord. <laughs> it's 63 to 38, though, squeet tar. 63 to 38, though, squeet tar. <laughs> Tell us more about that, why don't you? Friggin', uh. Oh my gosh. How about that? <laughs> South Carolina, what are y'all doing, man?
Okay, well, let's see what else Texas is up to. Oh, wait, I got to turn on that North Carolina App State game. That's really important. So, yeah, let's see how clutch Drake May is. 35 seconds left to go. North Carolina at the 30. Appalachian State uses up a second timeout to try and uh, stall for time. Okay, well, here we go. Tennessee back out on offense. Going to be a run up the middle by Jabari Small. Imagine my shock right there. Uh, I kind of forgot. The good news is Tennessee got a, uh, a turnover. The bad news is I got to watch this offense again. Uh, second down now. It's going to be second and five for Tennessee. Second and six, actually. It's going to be another handoff through the middle. Jabari Small nearly escaped uh, the tackle right there, but he'll get another five yards. It'll be third and inches here as Tennessee is going to probably do the exact same thing they did before. Just go ahead and give it Go ahead and give it to Small. Yep, run up the middle, and they saw it coming. So he gets stuffed. It's going to be a loss, and it's going to be fourth down. So they're going to give the ball right back to Austin P. man. Ay, ay, ay. <sighs> Looks like Alabama finally got a stop on Texas, so they're going to get the ball back. Returning the ball out. Uh, only slips, so Bama going to be in a, at their own 25. So fourth and one, Tennessee settling to punt. We're going to give it back to Austin P. This one going way back, taken at the 10, and so to be a fair catch. <sighs> All right, well, South Carolina, I cannot believe they're losing to Furman, bro. That's bad. That's bad. 14-7 in that game. That's That ain't no good. Poverty. At least we're winning. Uh, what else we got here? So Virginia Tech punts back to Purdue. Interesting choice uh, right there. Oh, North Carolina. Let's see what they're doing. So 13 seconds left to go. Uh, they got a big pass play, and they're sitting there now. Uh, they're sitting there now at the 20-yard line. So they're going to try and run this clock out, attempt to kick, and kick the game-winning field goal to beat Appalachian State. How, how about this, man? Two years in a row, this has been one of the more interesting games of the week. North Carolina and Appalachian State, man. They, both of these teams just keep fighting each other. This should be like a, this should be like a yearly rivalry at this point because these two teams should just keep going at it. I hope they lose. Yeah, yeah, I hope they lose as well. Um, I, I think you're talking about South Carolina. With Georgia and Alabama, you want them to, I mean, look really good when they play Tennessee because that props us up. But with South Carolina, you just want them to lose all their games. So, <laughs> yeah. Big big tackle by Texas. They seem to be handling business against Bama per usual. The clock is going down, though. Uh, 118 left to go in that game. So, I'm watching this uh, to see what they're about to do in this one. Of course, North Carolina is about to kick the game-winning field goal. Oh, my gosh. Touchdown, SMU. And they got the two-point conversion. It's a three-point game in Norman. Aye, aye, aye. What's, uh, yeah, the quarterback Stone has got 221 yards and a touchdown. Uh, good grief. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oklahoma's in big trouble. Big trouble. All right. I think they're looking to see if North Carolina potentially turned over the ball cause, or fumbled the ball. Cause that, that would be huge because that means App State gets ball. That means they go into OT. And I think they went to OT last year.
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Quit rubbing in the salt, announcers. They're talking about, oh, Tuesday at B, Florida, Jacksonville, she's 2003. Yeah, 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 whatever. Okay, first and 10. Austin P starting their drive from their own 10 yard line. Tennessee absolutely needs something here to keep keep the momentum going. Receivers move out. This is gonna be oh running back in motion now. Looks like he's going to turn to receiver. It's gonna be a quick screen play. Stays in bounds for about five yards. It'll be second down for Austin P. Here's Bama. Oh, a nice pass play. Uh, I guess a decent pass play right there. Bama now getting real close to scoring on Texas. Let's see. Uh, quick throw by Austin P. It makes the catch. Ain't going to get much out of it, though. Maybe two yards. It's going to be third and short coming up for uh, Austin P. P. Third down. Blah, 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 blah. Let's go. Well, here we go. Handoff through the middle. No, it's going to be a read option play, and he busts through the coverage to get the first down. Barely enough for it. All right. Come on now. Get it together. So first and 10 now, receivers in motion again, looking like, the, I think they're going to try and start taking more opportunities here. They don't really have a luxury of time to be doing anything else. Yep, there it is, deep throw. Oh my gosh, he caught it. He caught it. That was just a great pass. Slaughter on the, um, the coverage. He just made a great catch right there. I really, I don't really know how I can complain about that. Yeah, that was great protection. He just made it even better catch. They're in they're in desperation mode now, going towards the um the no huddle again. Run through the middle, not much out of it. I don't even know why you bother doing that now. You realize how much time is left. Second down, of about nine yards to go. So I'm not sure what in the world they're even reviewing now in this North Carolina Appalachian State game. I thought they were reviewing for a turnover, but now I have no point because now it's I have no clue because now it's first and five. Anyway, Austin P taking a deep shot. Oh my, wide open man. Not even any coverage around him. Touchdown Appalach or Austin P. Fifty two yard reception. Wide open man. There was not even anyone in sight. It's going to be a 10-point game pending the extra point. What are they doing? What type of coverage is that? Okay, this should this should be the extra point, but it looks like they might try and fake it here. I don't know. That was a weird Weird type of position they've got there. Nope, there's the extra point. Kick is up. It's good. All right, so it's going to be a 10-point game. I don't even know where to start, man. I'm. This offense just looks sad. It, it looks sad. And the defense just completely let them go right there. Oh, good grief, man. If this is what I got to watch throughout the rest of the season, I don't even know if I have the, uh, the patience for it. I'll explain more in a minute. It looks like... Finally, North Carolina is getting ready to kick this game-winning field goal. It's a 39-yarder. He just has to kick it straight through the middle, and they can win this game right here. Uh, right, right, here we go. And here's the snap, the hold, the kick is blocked. Wow. 
App State blocked it, but no, looks like uh, looks like somebody did something right there. I think some no, I, App State took a fine. App State took a timeout. They had the field goal blocked. Why in the world would you call a timeout right there? You had all that time with the review that you didn't even need to take your next timeout. You iced them good enough by that. And then you let that happen, man. You all block the field. How do you do that, man? You block the extra point and call a timeout. I cannot believe that. Or block a field goal. Sheesh. There are some really doo-doo doo teams right now. Like us. This is sad, man. This is sad. But I guess the defense is so worn out because our offense is literally doing absolutely nothing. Our, our, our offense is out there literally playing like dog water. This is not a good showing. Yeah. Shocker, will Milton keep his job? I don't I, I don't know if the offensive coordinator will keep his job after this. This is awful. We've got the same two plays. This is a hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. You know what? Give me a second. Give me a second. I'll show you guys exactly what I mean right here. Hold on. I'll take it back. North Carolina going for the game winner and oh he blocked it again! He blocked it again. Look, look at that. End of regulation. They're going to go into overtime in that game. All right. Let me show you guys something here. Austin P. Uh, all right. So we got a we got a plan for Austin P. All right. Got a plan for him. All right. Elite squad. All right. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Here's our here's our playbook, baby. That's a sexy playbook right there. We got Jalen Wright. Jalen Jalen Wright run. Screen. That's our playbook, baby. That's our playbook. You got this is our playbook. Take a good look at it. Here's what here's what here's what our offensive coordinators got going. This is our full playbook right here. This is one page. Boom. Playbook. Bullshit. So tired of y'all. So tired of y'all bums letting me down. Get it together. Well, here we go. First and down. For, first and down. First down. First and ten for Tennessee. Um, nine minutes left to go in this game. Milton stepping back. No, it's going to be a handoff. Shocker. This is going to be a nice little run for about nine yards. Dylan Sampson with the run. That's a decent run right there. It's going to be another run right here. Trying to get something out of it. He will get the first down at least. That's something. Tennessee, of course, bringing out the tempo. And Tennessee has no, I mean, they have no, I mean, Austin P has no timeouts. Milton, over the middle. Uh, I don't know if he completed that. Brew McCoy. Uh, yeah, no, they didn't. Yeah, wasn't complete. I am so tired of this. Underthrown again. Oh, it's going to be a screen play. But Callan Castles escapes the pressure. He's off to the races, runs down the field, and he will get into the end zone. Touchdown, Tennessee. McCallan Castles, uh, finally, something positive. But guess what it was? Play number two. Play number two. This is our offense. That's the only time I'm ever going to get mad about a touchdown. It's the exact same thing we've been doing. Screen. I I guess Austin P is just allergic to covering that. I don't know. Oh. Well, there we go. The extra point is good. So Tennessee now up thirty to thirteen. Heading into eight minutes left in the fourth quarter. <laughs> Oof, man, it's been, it's just been one of those days, man, you know? Just been one of those days. So Texas Bama went into the half, uh, thirteen six in that game. See what else is going on. 
Rocky Top, Tennessee. At least we win today. The scoreboard is ahead of me. <laughs> yeah, that sounds about right. <coughs> I can't even see it. I'm looking at all these other games right now. I'm not trying to spoil myself, and I know I'm behind uh, from everybody else, but I guess that's just the... Uh, I guess that's the price you have to pay for streaming. Whew. Well... That at least makes me a little more comfortable, but like I said, it's the same damn play that we've been doing. We've got to mix it up next time. Because this is... It's getting really bland. Really bland is what I think. Y'all think I should rank Austin P when I do my uh, top 25 rankings? Because I'm getting ready to do that. <laughs> Oh, Appalachian State touchdown, seven yards. They're going to be up on North Carolina. Uh, we upset alert in Charlotte. That's that's some big news. Eight oh three left to go in this game. Well, I'll tell you this much, Lucas. Um, we're going to have a lot to talk about on the Vol Star podcast tomorrow. That's for sure. It won't be a short show tomorrow. So y'all keep your clocks running for that. Let's check in on some of these other teams. Yeah, about what I expected. All right, well, here we go. First and 15 for Austin P. Sitting at the 20-yard line. Handoff through the middle. <laughs> If there's one thing, maybe maybe it's practice, you know? Maybe it's the practice that's got them prepared for this. Because you can't... Like Austin P appears to be doing about the exact same thing Tennessee's doing, just with just a, with a little bit of read option mixed in, you know? All right. Oh, my goodness. A nice completion throw. Um, a great pass right there. So Austin P definitely does not have the same playbook Tennessee's running. <coughs> Excuse me. Screenplay. And nothing much out of that. No, he's going to break a tackle. And then he goes down. So it's going to be about two yards for him. North Carolina now trying to make something happen out of this. It's third down for them. They've got about a couple of yards to go in order to get this uh, first down marker. App State is hyped up. All right, here we go. It's Austin P on the pass. Complete. He's going to uh, manhandle his way for another first down. This Tennessee defense looks so gassed. They just look done with the day. They're like... All right, I'm ready to go home. The one thing is for sure, we ain't going up in the rankings next week. Pass play. Oh, he tried. He looked like he was going to go for the deep shot, but then he got taken down by his own lineman. Looks like there's a flag coming out, though. Touchdown, North Carolina. Looky there. So now it's going to go into second overtime. Man, they sure do know how to make that competitive. Illegal chop block on Austin Papi. <coughs> Excuse me. LSU now up 28-10 over Grambling. Wisconsin-Washington State turned out pretty good. Mississippi State seems to be taking care of business against Arizona. They're up 14-0, uh, but that's nearing the half. Oh, my gosh. I thought South Carolina would roll back into it, but they're still losing to Furman. Aye, aye, aye. 
They got to get it together. All right, four receivers out. Quick pass play, another screen. Tennessee, um, he misses a misses a block, and there he goes. He goes down. So it's it'll, that was first and twenty five, and it'll be second and uh, something teen. All right, let's see. I'm pissed, Squid. I might go full rage mode on the podcast. Well, I'm all for it, man. I'll probably do the same thing. Another pass play, Austin P. Quick little dump off pass, complete breaks, misses a man. Misses another, and he's off. He gets a first down out of that. Good Lord, man. What are we doing? <coughs> In case you haven't figured it out yet, it's not a scrimmage. The game's not over. And we got a player down. Uh, looks like one of our uh, corners. That's J Jalen McCullough. Yep. Get up, Tank. Come on, man. Get up, Tank. Boy, I might need a Dr. Pepper after today. First thing I'm doing after this game's over, after this stream's over, I'm, I'm going straight to McDonald's and I'm grabbing me a milkshake. I need a dessert like that, man. I, I'm in just... This, this, this game will take the light out of anyone. There you go, South Carolina. They put up a touchdown on Furman. Now it's 14-all. Oh, man. Yeah, take McCullough out the rest of the game. Just let him let him rest throughout the rest of the game. I have no idea how serious that injury is, but it's or uh, or I have no idea how bad he's hurt, but it's best not to take any chances. Texas Tech just went for a 56-yard attempt to end out the half. They didn't get it. And North Carolina, big run right there, touchdown. And that was, uh, I think that was Drake. Yeah, that was Drake May on the option play. He runs it in 13 yards. So now North Carolina up on Appalachian State. Man, a lot of teams really, really starting up. Well, a lot of teams look just sluggish in general. Oklahoma and SMU, that one. We might have to turn that one on. The Mad Tea Sipper. Ten Texas ain't ready for the SEC. Ha, 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 ha. Well, hey, I believed in y'all. I actually have y'all beating Alabama. And you might, and the way things are playing out, y'all could very well do that. Should I stream the Florida game? I probably won't be. Um, oh, big run by DeLillo. He's going to get another first down. It's looking like Austin P is about to get their morality score before uh, we seal this one up. <coughs> Whew. All right. Well, pass complete. Misses a man. Good lord, man. What are we doing? I, I, I'd like to make this look a little less embarrassing than it already is. <coughs> oh, I, did North Carolina miss the extra point? I guess they did. Now it's a six-point game. Oh, nope. Nothing there. Wrapped up right there by uh, number 97 on uh, yeah Jenkins with the big tackle right there second and goal now 320 left to go in the game they're just trying to milk this clock out Cincinnati's killing Pittsburgh now man I guess they I guess they've adjusted to power five play pretty well uh I was wrong about them oh my gosh dude yeah, he knows it too. Number 31 jumped off sides. Wah, wah, wah. <coughs> well, Oklahoma seems to have th gotten things under control. Now they're up 27 to 11. Um... 
Purdue's got the ball on Virginia Tech up 24-17, so it looks like they're about to handle business. <coughs> Man, my throat is tingly right now. All right, second and goal. They're going to try and get some morality points here. All right, four receivers out. Pass play, dump off pass, no, incomplete. Yeah, McDonald took care of that. What's... Dude, no! Roughing the passer? What are you... Oh my god. This is painful. Yep, just tackling's illegal now, everyone. Tackling's illegal. Y'all are so soft, these dumbass refs. I can't wait. I, I hope I never have to see you bums again. North Carolina, they clutch up and they just beat App State. So that's final in Charlotte. They beat App State in overtime. All right. Quarterback on the run, DeLalo. He got wrapped up real good right there. <coughs> yeah, defending's illegal now in this state of college football. The down, the downtown hobos uh, said, uh, yeah, they, they don't like that. They don't like that at all. The, town, the downtown hobos don't want us to be happy. They don't want us to succeed in anything, so the end result is that. Tisk, tisk. SMH shaking my head. And a little dump off pass. Tricked the cameraman, but didn't trick the Tennessee defense that time. Breaking news, I just figured this one out. Um, turns out the officials, or at least the head official, is from Florida. That's big news. And they try and run the ball through the middle. Ain't getting Jack Diddley do squat right there. Tennessee stops him short. <coughs> Excuse me. So it'll be fourth and goal. And Austin P is going to give it one last attempt to try and uh, make this game look a lot less, or a lot more embarrassing for us and a lot less for them. But yeah, anyway, the head refs from Florida, we're going to have, we're going to remember that next week. We'll remember that for sure. Well, here we go. Fourth and goal. Big man in motion. And looks like Tennessee's going to call a timeout. I think that was the first timeout we've called all game long. All right, well... So North Carolina beats Appalachian State. That was a really good game. Uh, let's see what else is going on. Florida taking care of business against McNeese. Uh, LSU against Gr Grambling now. It's 28-10. Let's see if... Uh, nope. Still 13-6. Uh, the game hasn't kicked off yet. <coughs> mm, what else? Man, Cincinnati's kicking the crap out of Pitt. 27 to 7. Good grief. South Carolina now seems to be getting things under control. They're up 20 to 14 on Furman. That's about as in control as you can get it. Uh, I have no idea whether or not Furman's getting ready to score another one, though. It doesn't really tell you. I may turn that one on later. 
So tell me, uh, since we got 13 people in here, uh, I want I want you I want to ask you guys. Do y'all think I should stream the Florida game next week? I because th I'm thinking uh, as successful as this stream was, I think I should roll with that exact same thing next week. I had a great time with you guys tonight. Y'all were great people. Thank y'all so much for tuning into the stream tonight. It's been a great one. Regardless of how bad Tennessee is, which um, they looked really bad today, um, I'm glad that I got to spend the time with you guys. Because I, you know, I originally intended to go to the game, which, you know, since I got free time now and uh, I'm not under a crap ton of stress, I'll tell you guys the story. Um, the, the whole uh, ticket system uh, for student tickets at Tennessee, it's based on a lottery system. And you have one claim, the second claim, and then a free claim period, which is like a first come, first serve. But of course, I didn't get first claim or second claim because it's based on loyalty points. If you have more loyalty points, you have a better chance of being picked in the lottery. And shockingly enough, since I had no loyalty points, since this is only my second semester at the University of Tennessee, I got absolutely nothing out of it in either the first or second claim. And by the time um, the you know the other period came where it's just first come first serve, the website crashed, and I had a class to attend, so I couldn't just sit there for hours on end hoping that the website would start working suddenly. So I never got the chance to go to the Austin P game, which was definitely disappointing. But you know, uh, I, I I had I didn't think I had anybody to go to campus with anyway. I didn't really. I don't really, shockingly enough, I don't really have any friends on uh, campus to uh, hang out with. So going, going with by myself, going by myself for the game, I, I would say would be uh, very, very unfulfilling. So I am, uh, I think I made the right move staying here with you guys. So now it's fourth and goal. Tennessee, come on, st get the stop here. Man in motion. It's going to be a run by the quarterback, and he won't get there. Tennessee is going to stop him short, and that is the biggest victory of the day. He's still pushing, not even close. Tennessee stopped him way short. There's a whole hill of men right there. Everybody's on top of each other. They all look like they're in pain. It looks like just a cluster of, uh, uh, <laughs> of skin. Good grief. Helmets flying. They wanted that. That's the biggest victory of the day right there. Woo! Rocky Top Tennessee. Let's go. Okay. You used to get into the games for free? That sounds pretty awesome. Yeah, as a college student, I've been um, pretty, to say the least, uh, sheltered. And I haven't really done anything on campus other than go to classes. Haven't been to any parties. You know, um, haven't really attended any games, basketball or football. Uh, or even baseball, for that matter. Uh, I haven't really done anything. But the good news is I've actually met some people on campus that I think I'm going to do stuff with. So, we'll see. I'll, I'll let you guys, uh, I'll give you guys an update on that. Oh, man, Tennessee lucky to get not get a safety on that. It's a quick run by Jabari Small. And now we can go ahead and take a knee and solidify. Oh, what? What are you doing, bro? Let go of Jabari Small. You're going to end up getting clapped by one of the other Tennessee guys on there. They ain't going to take that. <coughs> All right, well, I will blame this on the fact that we overlooked for the Florida game. Uh, Tennessee does win today, so that is a W. We're undefeated currently. Um, we got Florida next week. I'm going to be streaming for that, so of course you guys stay tuned for next week. And if, it, if it's anything like this, and if they come up and th this is what our playbook looks, looks like, this dumbass crap right here, you already know I'm going to be freaking out. Uh, so Jabari Small, one last run, and that'll solidify the game right there. Final score, 30 to 13. This is absolutely how I not I did not plan for things to go out like this, but it was an ugly performance. It tends to happen. Georgia last year, you know, was looking like this against Kent State. So uh this does not uh, this most likely will not be a precursor to what we see in the future. But who knows? Who knows? Tennessee wins though. I'm happy about it. Um 
You won't hear me complain. Uh, oh, okay, I take that back. You will hear me complain. Uh, <laughs> I'll have to do that in my post game, which I'll do momentarily. Um, yeah, a lot of teams looked ugly today, but Tennessee definitely was one of the more ugly. Uh, <laughs> <sighs> Good grief, man. That was awful. Yeah, that's pretty cool, man, that you're able to do that. Uh, car meets up in Knoxville. You might be talking about cars and coffee. I go there on occasions uh, at West Town Mall. That's pretty fun. Yeah, we don't. All right. Yeah. Well, I'm hoping um, Josh Heupel doesn't come out and do the Derek Dooley thing and be like, well, our goal was to go 1-0 today and we went 1-0 today. So right there, that's a W and we we executed and we, we had great execution. And yeah, yeah. Woo! We don't need no of that moral victory Jack Dooley do. No. We look like. We look like trash today. That's what it is. But, hey, it's better in this game, and it's better than a game that we're most likely to win than a loss. So, you know, as bad as we looked and as horrendous as it's been, we won today. So, you won't hear me complain too much about it. I'm glad we won. I'm glad we handled business. We went out there, did what we were supposed to do, and won the day. Uh, so, not in the most best of fashion, but we, we did it. Uh, let's see what's going on with Bama. Is, has it kicked off uh, again yet? Let me see. <coughs> Shit. I am. I am pooped. All right, yeah, it looks like it kicked off again. Second and 17. Well, I've already stayed up for too long. We've been doing this for, think, for five hours. I'm sweaty. I need a break. I need to go get a milkshake from McDonald's and maybe a Milton, uh, Joe Milton meal to go along with it. Um, I think that'll play out a lot in my favor as well. Um, whew. Well, hey, I didn't have to receive an L, and I did not have to hear the cornucopia of uh, other fan bases letting me know about it. So, W is a W, and we did just that. For those of you guys watching, thank you guys so much for tuning into the stream. Make sure you jo join in, uh, not just next week when we do the Florida game, but tomorrow at 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time when me and Lucas Sharp and our third co-host, which has yet to be revealed, we will be doing the Vol Star podcast. So you stay you stay tuned for that. I'll see you guys uh, to, and w whenever I do a stream. I may do another video. I'll have my post game out shortly. And uh, yeah, as always, power to Tartaria, and more importantly on Squid Tard Sports. Go Vols, baby! Woo! We won today. We're undefeated. We're 2-0. Florida, I'm going to have a lot to say about y'all. They already know that for a fact, so stay tuned for that in the near future. BPD, I'll see you guys in the next live stream, or 